Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to Forza Motorsport. Yes, it is that time Ooh. where we are going to uh, be doing some multiplayer racing. We're doing probably some one make racing, perhaps some class racing, all of that sort of uh, yeah, good stuff, shall we say. Uh, we're starting off with a touring car race, because touring cars are always, always good. Uh, we have got uh, the Astra. That is what we are going to be starting with. Now, if you would like to take part in this session, you are more than welcome to. Uh, you and is the person to message, whose name is currently highlighted on the screen. Send you in a message on Xbox or via the Xbox app if you are on PC. And he will try and get an invite to you. We'll try and get you connected. Uh, hopefully, we can have a nice grid of cars. Now, oh, Rusky has already immediately crashed, I presume. Uh, I forgot to, when I set this up, to do this bit. Uh, right, we don't. We want fuel and tyres only. We don't want penalties. We want a random grid. Now, we may we may have to put penalties. I say we may have to put penalties. I don't want to have to, but if people are taking the piss, then we will kick and penalties may go on. And the, yeah, um, it, it should be fine. It should be fine. The touring cars, hope is... They will be pretty nice to drive. Uh, they, I've driven driven most of the TCR cars. I've driven the door. I haven't actually driven the BCCC cars particularly, but I'm going to presume they are going to be along similar lines. Uh, so we should get some proper close racing. Uh, you know, that's, that's what you hope for, really. Uh, mid Ohio. Okay, I mean, it's not something BCCC cars have probably ever gone around, but it is the sort of track that... Um, you know, actually, it looks a little bit like Alton Park. Kind of. Kind of a bit like Alton Park. Like the Fallout. I mean, very, very loosely. I don't know, the touring car. I guess the short layout is kind of like the short layout that... Alton-ish, and it's a real big, big-ish. Also, what is the other layout? There's no layout for it in the game. There has There's like the little... So the end loop part... Where there's like a chicane down the back straight. There. Is there like a really, really short circuit that sometimes you. I mean, I don't know what you'd race around there. It would be a very tiny circuit. I guess some cars might use a chicane part. Don't know about the other sort of cross. Part. There's there's no way, as far as I can. As far as I know, I got distracted pondering. Pondering about why that. What part that. I presume it's used somewhere. It's odd that it's kind of displayed on the map in the game where, I can't, where we can't actually use it. Um. There you go. Uh, I am sure somebody will know better than better than I guess. Yeah, you could. Um, I guess you could use it as a short course oval. Actually, I was more thinking of it as a. You've got a tiny oval. I was more thinking of it like with how the chicane part would would fit in as well. Um, but yeah, I guess it makes it makes sense that you'd have as many um, options configurations for a track as. Uh, as, as possible, essentially. Drake, thank you very much for the donation. Saying, tonight we race, we laugh, we cry, we get into silliness. I mean, I hope, race probably, laugh probably, hopefully no crying. Uh, <laughs> what should we learn? While Silverstone is good to British cars, uh, has it been good so far? I don't, don't know specifically. Uh, why the Nürburgring GP circuit is good for, Ameri for German cars, uh, and why American road is not good for American cars. I can't, I, I'm terrible at Road America. Um, I am. I am not good. I am not good at Road America at all. Oh, is this car a car pass one? Ah. Okay. I guess we can. I forgot this thing was a car pass. Uh, I guess we can say if you don't have the Astra, is the Folk is the Ford a non car pass one? I don't know. I get a BTCC car is going to be the way to go. Get the, If you've got the Astra, use the Astra. If not, use the Ford, which I don't, I don't actually know. Is the Ford available to people without the car passy thing? Don't know. Uh, someone will have to let me know if the Ford is available. I completely forgot that uh, this was... I presume it might be. I don't, I don't know. Um... Let's go have a look, see through the garage. Uh, do what class was this? It's just at the start of S class, I think. Uh, yeah, the Ford. I don't know. 
don't know if the Ford is going to be available. Uh, Ford is a much older one. The Lavorg is... I think the Lavorg is a car pass. Um, I, don't, I don't know now. Hmm. Okay. I don't know if it's going to tell me, because I've got all of them. It's not going to really... I'm just going to have a quick look to see if... Yeah. Uh, oh, crap. <laughs> I hope, I hope the Ford, uh, the Merc might not be, the Mercedes, that would, that might not be a car pass one actually, I don't have it, so it def that definitely won't be a car pass, so if, okay, if you can't get the Ford or the, if you can't get the Ford or the Astra, you can go and drive the Mercedes, uh, the, these are slightly different to the TCR cars, I don't quite know all the rules and all the differences between them, uh, I don't know, how, I mean, I don't know exactly how they would compare, they're not a million miles away in terms of PI, but, uh, they are, built to different uh, rules and regulations. Uh, Abinosa, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that one correctly at all, but uh, thank you very much indeed for the for the super chat. It is uh, very, very much appreciated indeed. Uh, right. We will... Oh, we're, we're driving the Astra. I, don't, I think we've got, well, we've got people readied up. We're going to go starting with this first race. It is all Astras for this first race. At least we will get people uh, in, in the future. Let's see. It's a six-lap race. Oh, never mind. Rusky's here. <laughs> He's almost ready to launch. He's almost ready to go. Wait, no. Rusky may be here? I swear I just said they joined the game. But it's not showing them as he... Oh, there we go. They are now. Uh, this is indeed open to join. If you want to take part, Ewan is the person to message... Who is oh, second on the list? Ewan's been promoted uh, up the up the fictional grid, apparently. But uh, yeah, send Ewan a message on Xbox or via the Xbox app if you are on PC, and he will try and get you an invite. We will try and get you connected as 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 good as possible here. Fingers crossed. It's uh, it's all going to be a a good race. That's definitely not a touring car. <laughs> Funny, that's a suspicious. Um, that's a suspicious-looking uh, touring car right there. Uh, well, I mean, there, there would be the Japanese GT Supras would be the, the only race. We don't have any. Sadly, we don't have. I didn't really know. Didn't really think about it. We don't have any of the uh, Japanese GT cars in this. Not even classic ones or modern ones or any of them at all, um, which is uh, a bit of a shame. Uh, it's going to be. I say there's going to be some one make racing. There's going to be some uh, class racing. We're limited in what we can do because the game, <laughs> basically. <laughs> um, yeah, there there is really only so much that you can do with this upgrade system. Oh, one person has a painted car. Uh, brazen has a very. It's a very brazen car. The liveries may or may not load. Shadow may have a painted one, but it's decided to not show it. Right, are we all ready? Um, okay, Rusky has a Mercedes. There is a lone Mercedes in a grid of Astras. Honestly, I probably would want them. I don't know. I don't, in, in the BTCC, uh, the Astra had its moments. The Mercedes had its moments as well. Uh, so, yeah. Neither were amazingly successful. Neither were completely garbage. But here we go. It is on to... It is on to the race time. We will get through the loading screen. Where will we be on the grid? Mid-Ohio, difficult to overtake around. Uh, I say we've got a fairly short race here, but it's a, it's a tough track to overtake on. Not impossible. Boo! we are a long way back. <laughs> we are a long way back. I can spot the Merc. Yeah, wow, there's one car with a livery. Uh, how many might actually be supposed to have liveries is anyone's guess. Uh, we have got it on the soft time. I did remember to do that before we started. It's going to be something that we have to try and remember for every race. Uh, we will go. Whoop, uh, we're going to give Gliska a little helping hand. Stevie has got a good run. Someone's doing a little bit of grass cutting, as is the touring car way. Uh, I'm going to guess we can probably get away with braking quite late. Oh. I wonder if we may have some cars that cannot see each other. Uh, so normally, from, from what we have experienced so far, the first race in a lobby, you get you get vehicles that can't see each other. And the way Rusty came across on Blakey and had there was no effect on Rusty's car makes me think Rusty may not have been able to see Blakey. Uh, which is 
would honestly not surprise me with the way, well, for some reason, the first lobbies go, oh, uh, Rusky, well, Rusky got in the back of us and then got a tag from behind, I think, and went round. As in, these are front wheel drives. Uh, if they get sideways, you can boot it and save it, but if you're getting assistance, quite difficult to save it. No, first gear was not what we needed through there. The Sea of Clones is uh, attacking the mid-Ohio circuit. Not going to be able to do anything here. Ninetales is stuck on the outside of someone. Not sure who it was. I did not quite get myself into the right place to profit from that, which is very disappointing. Uh, Longbow is up the inside. We will hopefully all follow. Angel Man is going to come with us as well. Uh, can we get under oh, to the inside? Oi, we got an assist. Sorry, Ninetales. Uh, it was always a little bit dicey trying to get up the inside there. It was not helped when we got a push into the corner outside at turn one it's doable it's just unlikely uh, it's unlikely identical cars if you know if we had a grip difference over nine tails you might be able to do it however we're not going to get that done easily in an identical car uh, we'd have to be considerably braver slash better at driving to pull that off and we're not so there we go we've got an okay exit off the back straight uh, the fuel is all over the place. <laughs> I don't know how many laps. I'm sure it's at 109 at one point, and it's now down to 85. I'm not sure. I mean, this is not the longest circuit in the world, but I don't think a full tank in a BTC. I actually don't. I don't know the fuel. The tank size in one of these, because it's never really a thing they deal with. Uh, it's never really. It's not really significant. The races are about 25 minutes long, or so on, depending on safety cars and all of that that crap. Uh, they can extend the races, so they also carry a decent chunk of fuel. Oh, I say decent, they carry enough. Uh, not actually sure, we've done 58 laps. If it keeps going at that rate, we're going to be in trouble. Uh, someone, not Danger Man, tried to send it to the inside of Nine Tails. We kind of hung Nine Tails out a bit wide there. And uh, yeah, they lost a bunch of time. We will now look for way, way past Longbow if we don't get a whole bucket load of understeer through here. That's fine. Can we cut underneath? For the exit here, we can. Got good momentum through all of this. Longbow went went to go across to cover. It's gonna be it's gonna be a very narrow line into turn one. And Longbow finds Longbow finds basically what I <laughs> I couldn't hold it around the outside either. Uh, if you get alongside, uh, yeah, the turbo's noisy in this, isn't it? It makes lots of lots of chirpy, squeaky noises. Uh, what was the other car? I was driving another car. What was I using on this game that was making all sorts of funny turbo noises? Uh, <laughs> it's, not, it's, it's not a... Uh, I presume it's a single it's a single turbo in this, but the, the turbo is powered by mice. That's what it is. Um, the, the turbo is actually there's actually mice in the in the impeller. Uh, They're just spinning it. That's what's that's what's causing the air. To, uh, to be sucked into the engine. It's actually the mice. And when I let off the throttle, you can... You know, we have that brief moment where the car's not making so much noise to drown out the squeaking. Brazen, uh, <laughs> funnily enough, is very fast and started at the front and has vanished again. Um, we will try... I mean, there's a podium in it for us. Uh, there is potential. Uh, I think it's you and Andy are having a fight up in front of us. Come on, chirp, come on, chirpy, squeaky. Just don't let Eve hear it. Uh, <laughs> I mean, of, of all the animals, Apollo is the only one that has ever cared about animal sounds on, like, videos or TV. And he's only cared about one very specific sound. Uh, and that... Uh, so, normally, you can have dogs barking, cats, whatever, on a TV show. It doesn't care one bit. The one sound, anyone who has watched uh, the Yogscast TTT videos... Uh, they have, I think it was a Dingus the Cat, uh, that makes like a, a, a digitally meow sound. And I can guarantee you when that plays, Apollo will bark at it. It is the only sound like that. He will bark, if my phone goes off with like the ring doorbell sound, he'll bark at that as well, because I think he knows what it means. But uh, yeah, that is the only sound he has ever got mad at. Not mad, well, not mad mad, but he's like, I want to find out about it. So, yeah, it's a strange, it's a strange one. Um, yeah, mice-powered, mice-powered touring car is the future. Uh, I still, I mean, I'm 
think, slowly getting better at mid-Ohio. Not great, but uh, certainly not brazen fast. But uh, we're catching the group ahead. I don't know who's up with brazen at the moment up at the front. I have no idea who started who started up there. Uh, we know it's not the we know, we know it's not the Mercedes. That's that's dropped back. Uh, we are maybe next lap going to be in range. Start looking for a way past if I don't make any mistakes. But Ewan got past but has not managed to escape away at the front at all here. It's a better lap. A better lap from us. Two laps remain. How are we going? So, oh, and he made a mistake. Got up on the curb and then got on the grass on the exit. Uh, <laughs> Realised the danger. Got across to cover the inside down here. Now, I don't mind taking a bit of a wider line through here. My goal is going to be to try and get below on the exit. Didn't quite work. Actually, didn't quite get... Uh, to the inside there. Danger Man has cleared Longbow and is now up to sick. We will chase down the car ahead. You and may get away with keeping the podium if I can't find a way past quickly. Because uh, even if if I don't get past Andy this lap, I don't think we'll have time to, to get past Ewan. Um, still trying to find a way. So this part of the track is super difficult to overtake on. I mean, you can do it, but it really relies on the car, make, the car ahead making a little mistake. Even if I've got pace through here, it's difficult to find a way. Oh, that might be the mistake. The problem is, I get on the power and the car just naturally wants to, to understeer a little bit wise towards where Andy is. Outside through here is going to be brave. Can we hold it? Oh, Andy did leave us our space. I was a little bit, I was a little bit nervous. And I slightly bailed. Didn't know if we were going to get tagged. We are through. Got to be careful. Yeah, problem is we're through. But now we're stuck fighting down towards turn one. We're going to go side by side again into this first corner. Uh, oh, we're going to try and pin the car down on the inside, which we did. We are on, on the power. Can we get Ewan? Can we get Ewan? Will we come under fire by the end of this race? That is the next question. Uh, now get the front end of the Astra turned in. We do. Ewan? Where, well, if we can get past Ewan, where on earth are we going to get past Ewan? Because it's not going to... We're not nowhere near close enough down here. If anything, we're going to have to go defensive because the car behind will have some slipstream. Might be a big dive to pull that one off. Ewan is not as quick in this section, I don't think. This is where we, even when we were, we were nose to tail over fourth, Ewan was a little bit slower through here. Brazen miles quicker than the rest of them. I mean, Liam up in second. I don't remember seeing that name on the charge up through the field. Uh, <laughs> otherwise, I have no idea. Uh, so, yeah, we may be able to just catch a little bit through here. Uh, try, try everything I can in the Astra to have a go. If we're gonna... I mean, we've got one more really big breaking zone. I don't want to throw away fourth, but I do want to try and get a podium, if at all possible. We're not going to be close enough here, are we? No, we're all going to be stuck as we head out of the final corner. It is going to be Ewan that gets the last spot on the podium. Good work from Ewan. There, we will cross the line and uh, I will have to settle for fourth. We had pace. It was Liam up in second. We had pace. We were the third fast. Well, I should say we were third fast. We were around there. Nine tails was a similar lap time to us. That was Scotty. Uh, there's a lot of us in kind of the low 32s. Um, danger, yeah, yeah, a lot of us were in the low 32s. Brazen and Liam are second, <laughs> second lap quicker than the rest of us. Uh, <laughs> well, Stevie was quick as well, actually. Actually, Stevie and Childish were quick, but I'm going to guess stuck down in traffic early on. The Merc struggled a bit um, around there. But there we go. Uh, yeah, I mean, it helped Brazen and Liam that they started right at the front. And they could run away, kind of unaffected, while you and Andy, me, Danger Man, we were all in a big, big fight. Um, yeah, you're gonna lose. You're gonna lose time in those in those big squabbles. Um, but yeah, hey, it was a good race. Well done, well done, Brazen and Liam. You're far too quick for me. <laughs> we're gonna have to get the Brazen nerf at some point. Okay, we're gonna get the Brazen nerf ready. Um, uh, yeah, we had a little. We had a little bit of. Um, 
we had a little bit of, of the old uh, cars invisible. Hopefully, it is going to sort itself out as we, as we go along. Um, if, if for those asking, I just see someone in chat asking about the levels. There's a bunch of us on very high levels because we've been doing the AFK stuff. Uh, Longbow is actually the highest level of all of us. Um, I think, yeah, Longbow is at almost 400. Um, I've been doing the AFK for building cars for the rest of the community. I don't want to do it, but it's the only way I'm going to be able to try more than one car. I don't have nine hours to, to try three different cars. Uh, or to upgrade, or to unlock enough stuff on three different cars. I just don't have that time. My job is to play video games, essentially, and I don't have the time to grind out the stuff for some of the crap in this game. Uh, so, yeah, I will just leave it while I... I'd leave it AFK while I was busy, while I was editing, I was helping Carly, and all of that sort of stuff. And that's how I've done it. And I presume that's how Ninetales and, and Long... Well, I know it's how Longbow's done it. I presume that's how Ninetales has done it as well. And a bunch of us have as well. Uh... I thought a second the game was going to crash. Uh, we, look, we got, we're, driving, we're driving BTCC cars. We have got to go to the only BTC circuit in the game. Uh, we're going to the Silverstone National Circuit. I mean, it's, it's a fun enough circuit. Um, it is a more simple circuit. We will leave it on. Not going to be mostly... Well, it might be mostly clear, but we're going to have it on random. We will have it on random. We will see. There is a chance. There is a chance. It could pour it down with rain. We just don't know. Um, but it hasn't. It looks like it's bright sunshine again. Uh, there is no Borrow the Leader's car in this one, uh, but you can rent vehicles. Uh, I think you can rent any vehicle to run in any race. You just won't gain car levels for it. I don't know if you gain money. Presumably, you might. Uh, if you could afford it, you may as well buy it, basically, because... Uh, you may as well try and get the levels. However, I, you know, understandably, some people, certainly earlier on in the game, may not have the money to buy every single car. While cars are cheaper, you know, £200,000 a car will add up quite quickly. Um, if you do want to take part, I think we've still got a couple of spaces uh, in all of this. Do, yeah, we do have a couple of spaces. Uh, yeah, if you do want to take part, Ewan is the person to message. Here we go. Uh, a where the where the where the name is is highlighted. Send a message to you and on Xbox or via the Xbox app if you're on PC, and we will try and get an invite your way. And hopefully you can can come and take part. Uh, we don't have the penalty system turned on at the moment. I don't really want to have to because quite often it can be well it can be a bit erratic. Um, so we're trying to avoid using it. Oh, Ewan's moved. Uh, yeah, we're trying to avoid using it. However, if if we have to, we will, or we will um, kick people if if you prove problematic. I think that uh, that is the best way to uh, best best way to sum it up. Um, we've got a couple more cars in. Yeah, if you don't have the Astra for this, we're trying to race the Astras first of all. But uh, if you don't have the Astra, go in the Mercedes. Uh, that will do the job. Uh, it's I mean, it's not too bad. It's not the fastest. Oh, I'm going to have a drink before we go into the next race. We do also, for all of you people at home, uh, we do have a different animal in the office today. I don't know where... She's currently fast asleep, so I don't know whether... I, I, I will say this now while she's asleep, because she might be a bit hyper when she wakes up. Um, but... Uh, I am dog sitting for one of the dogs that, uh, that me and Carly walk. Uh, so Molly is 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 in is in is in the office currently fast asleep. Uh, can get very hyper. <laughs> um, yeah, I would say can get very hyper. Not like Apollo levels of hyper uh, because she's a small dog. Uh, but uh, <laughs> there may be some different distracto dogs today. Um, Eve likes her. Eve is Eve is friendly. Well, let's say. Eve. Eve is always friendly. Cass has been brave enough to go and sniff and then ran away uh, because that is Cass for you. And yeah, Apollo is loud and boisterous and Molly had had enough. So there we go. Um, we don't actually know what breed... So Molly's owners don't know what breed Molly is. She's a rescue dog. Um, so they have no idea what breed she is. Some sort of small dog is the basically the best, the best description I can come up with. Um, so yeah. That's if, if there is dog distraction, it's a different it's a different sort of dog distraction to normal. Uh, the man of danger is not currently ready. Uh, it is a man of, of unreadiness. If everybody could get readied up, so we can. I say get this race underway. Ten laps around it. The, the short laps on this. Actually, how long? 
when you're up to the race, the actual touring car round is like 17 or 20, I think. We're, we're doing like a 50% race of 50% uh, <laughs> BTCC race. Um, kind of. We'll get going shortly. Um, I have to say, like, I've, I've been to Silverstone. I've actually been to Silverstone. I do like Silverstone for watching the touring cars because it's a wonderful place uh, where you can actually sit in the grandstands. <laughs> and being in England, when the chances are it rains, you don't get soaked. I've been to most of the BTCC calendar over the years. Silverstone is great because of the grandstands, because you can just go and sit in there. Uh, <laughs> um, Knock Hill is still my favourite circuit ever, because it, you you can like stand at one point and see almost all of the all of the circuit. Uh, who's got an upgraded Astra? Oh, for God's sake! I mean, we can. Hold on. Oh well, I mean, no, wait, not there. I would eventually remember. Uh, I can't. Oh no, wait! I can't do this because it breaks it. Get out! Reset your Astra to stock. Jesus Christ! Um, I, I would set lock cars to stock, but then when I do that, the game freaks out if the cars have levels. I don't think that's supposed to happen, but it is what happens. So, yeah. Oh, uh, there we go. Drivers list. So, yeah. Whoever has got, I'm, I'm. It's probably done by accident. To be fair, uh, but. Yeah, e e e e e e Vox? I'm not. I'm probably mispronouncing it, uh, but uh, I think they are because they're just unready. If you can go and, and reset your car to stock, um, that would be that would be very, uh, very good. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, Peter Trash saying Knock Hill is windy. Knock Hill is windy. You are not wrong. Knock Hill is windy. And when I went there, it was very typical uh, Knock Hill weather in that it was windy it then got very wet for one race and then got dry again for later on and you queue for ages to get in but it's a wonderful circuit to visit uh it is it is probably my favorite of all the racetracks i've gone to it is my favorite to spectate absolutely my favorite to spectate from and it's a spectacular track to to watch racing around but yeah it's a wonderful wonderful venue to, to spectate. Shame it's so bloody far away from me, really. Alright, uh, we're ready to go. We're going to run a touring car race at, uh, at Silverstone. I mean, I'm hoping we need the Brazen penalty. Uh, Brazen absolutely should have a minus one mouse handicap. You are not right at all. Uh, Egil, I may, I may be mispronouncing it, not sure, uh, but thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying, can I request Laguna Seca's outer loop for a race, please? You absolutely can. Uh, what we will race around there, I do not know, but you, <laughs> you may, you may request it. Um, okay, we've got a little bit better spot on the grid this time. The the mics are ready. A lot of Mercedes is, 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 are in front of us, and we are off and we are underway. Uh, I say no excuses. Oh, Liam is alongside. Uh, in this track does become a little bit... Oh, we're on the wrong tyres. Why I forgot it doesn't save the damn thing. Never mind. Excuses! Excuses have been formed. Liam's being a motorbike, a very bouncy motorbike, is Liam. Uh, yeah, we've been stiff. Uh, I knew I needed to think about this. Um, like the whole the whole tyres. I know I need to try and remember that. I, I was thinking about it before the start of the stream. I just forget that it doesn't save in between races. Uh, even though all we've done is change the track just in the same car. I am so sorry for everybody in the cars behind me because I will just be slow through these corners. Unfortunately, while you can... While you can have variable tyre wear, it seems, in online, in the, in the featured multiplayer races, you can't set your own lobby to have quicker tyre wear, which is a real shame. Like, I would like to be able to play around with the tyre wear settings, have more tyre wear. Of all the circuits to have the wrong tyres on, this is not the worst, right? This is, well, it's three straights, essentially. So you will be better off here than anywhere else. But you're still going to be losing a good a good amount of time per lap. I'm not going to be the only one. I can almost guarantee uh, I can almost guarantee someone else would have done it. It's a really easy mistake to make. Uh, 
just setting the tires to the, the rock compound. And there is no real, visual, there's no visual way to see what other people are on, uh, as far as I'm aware. Anyway, oh, understeer, 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 go, 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 <laughs> go, Astra, go. Try, try and catch up. If we can stay with the train of cars, might not be too. Like if they fight one another, if they fight one another, then it might help make up for some of the lack of grip that I have. Uh, as you see there, through turn one, because Gliska and Stevie were busy being side by side, we were actually able to make up some ground on them. Got to get the braking right down here. Oh, as I say that, we go a little wide. Not a lot wide, as someone else did. Oh, and, <laughs> and he went for an explore through there. Uh, it happens. Now, I don't know. I don't think we're going to be able to clear easily down this part, are we? Because we're going to be stuck out wide. Uh, oh, and he did actually leave us a fair bit of space. That's quite a lot of space. We're going to lock the brakes slightly. Yeah, I just cannot turn as tight as the Mercedes. Will I have the speed on the exit here? Longbow has come to join the party as well. We've got a four-car battle over ten. Uh, I mean, I know that in the actual touring cars, the BTCC, they do... Uh, run variable compounds. I don't know what the differences are in terms of lap time uh, between the vehicles. The Merc has gone for an adventure. Longbow is to the inside. It's going to be busy down here. My goal is going to be to cut underneath and someone has gone round. Go Longbow, go. I'll push you out of the corner. We're back in the top ten! <laughs> it, well, it worked. It, it was... A bit of a bump draft on the old longbow. A bit of a bump draft. I had some momentum. I couldn't do anything with it other than impart it to longbow. So, you know, that's what we did. Uh, and it's got a little bit wide, although you are on the inside for the final corner. Now, if I could actually get my front end to turn, we could maybe have made the most of there being a gap. Oh, that's a very touring car accident. <laughs> Running wide out of that corner across the gravel. Uh, yep. That does how I've been sat at the grandstand of that corner watching touring cars do that. Um, the Mercedes is having a look. It's very difficult to overtake through this first corner. Uh, it's fine. I just cannot quite carry the corner speed. You will, well, you will probably get past in the braking zone. Oh, there's someone got wide in the background behind us. Longbow has a little bit wide as well. Back into the slipstream we go. Blakey has come to join. I mean, <laughs> we've still found a good, a good, a good battle. That's that's something here. Uh, can we do much? I don't think we. I, well, I mean, realistically, we can't. We're more trying to pick up pieces of anyone else's mistakes. Uh, we can avoid running wide ourselves. We will just be slow mid corner, uh, but. Yeah, we, realistically, that is the best that we can we can do. Um, I did see, see a chat. This, this this is not a I say it's not a, it's not a, a no, it is a public lobby, but it's not like one of the, the featured multiplayer events. Uh, so while well, I think my, I'm pretty sure my safety rating is S in this game, you know, this is this is just us not playing around. Uh, <laughs> uh, I have played a little bit of the featured mod, but there will be a video coming out soon on on that one. In fact, I'll probably be out tomorrow if I have remembered my schedule correctly. But yeah, that sort of stuff doesn't really apply to this race. Uh, Aaron is here, going to have a look to the outside. Well, you honestly probably have enough enough grip to make that work. We will try. No, not quite enough grip to make it work. Uh, <laughs> We're doing our best here. We're fighting with everything we've got in our car. And uh, if there's a gap appears, uh, we will shove the nose of an Astra into it. The Mercedes, the Mercedes, I think, are a little bit slower. That being said, they are putting up a fight in this one. I can just see a yellow brazen up ahead doing, <laughs> making forward progress. Oh, it, it, that is what we were hoping for and looking for. There was just a little opportunity, little bit of contact through turn one. We are going to be able to steal a place. Oh, there's another Mercedes in trouble. Uh, we're going to end up understeering a bit. 
I wanted to carry more speed. The problem is we're all stacked up. It's now uh, there's a lot of cars in a bunch. There's a big bunch of vehicles. We get a bump from the Merc. That's fine. Don't uh, hoping the car on the inside does back out of that one. They did, because otherwise we're going to have far too many cars wide. We're going to hopefully let's say shut the door, get the place on Aaron, which we do. Uh, now we are only one spot away from a top ten again. Honestly, a top ten would be a victory for me. <laughs> it would be a it would be a major. Well, I say a major, but it would be a nice victory if we could manage to do that. We need more chaos ahead. That is what we need. Aaron's not going to be close enough to have a look into turn one. I think Aaron had a wheel on the grass. Oh, that curb's nasty. Don't hit that. Yeah, Aaron had a wheel on the grass in the braking zone. That's going to spit your car sideways. Uh, and lost a lot of time. Apparently that curb is one of the really nasty curves. There are a few of them in the game I'll come across. Uh, you've got to... If I was running sim... If we were running full sim damage, that would be the end of my car. That would... That would be my car destroyed. So, <laughs> thankfully, we were only running fuel and tyres uh, damage on that one. So it didn't... Have, it cost us a, a little bit of time, but it didn't actually cost us anything in terms of damage to our vehicle. Blakey's fighting away over 8th place. My only chance of forward. You can see how much time I'm losing. I would expect these tyres to be losing me about a second a lap. It seems to be, on a short circuit, which this is, um, it seems to be about a second a lap between the softs and the mediums. I mean, this is probably not the most significant in terms of tyres, but it is still Important, you know, through here, for example. So yeah, I would, I would hazard a guess at about a second a lap between the compounds that we are, that we are losing. We are now losing out to the cars in front. We are, and we are now getting caught. So yeah, we're going to be under fire by the end. But we're going to have to be defending next lap. Our eleventh place will be vulnerable. Right, let's just. Keep everything neat and tidy through here. The mice are excited. <laughs> oh, the chirpiest of mice are powering the box. So that's a lot of cars. So after the little little bump, little shunts that has that group has all kind of reformed, and they're now reforming behind me. We're going to have to defend into turn one, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. Mercedes is likely to want to go underneath us on the exit. I just can't carry the speed, can we? It's just <laughs> Um, I, I defended the inside, but I just wasn't able to take the speed through that corner that would be required. Now, my hope is, get a slipstream down the straight and we're going to have to send it under brakes. We've got to bear in mind, of course, my brakes will be a little bit worse. In theory, will be a little bit worse. We're quite have the stopping power, no matter how much difference it makes. Um, but yeah, theory, I won't oh, see uh, Mercedes missed its brakes fighting with Stevie back there. Nah, not going to be able to do anything. Here, we have to wait so long to get on the power. We may lose out to Stevie, to be honest. Uh, yeah, it is a drag race to the line. Can we somehow slow Stevie down? Can we get a little bit of slipstream from Bacon Man? I think we will just hold on to 12th. <laughs> oh, yeah, wrong tyres. Wasn't good. <laughs> Liam to... It's a familiar podium. Liam has taken victory. Brazard is second. Ninetales got up to third. Charles is to fourth. Etta Scotty, Gliska, Andy, seventh. Longbow, Blakey, and Volatile. Creep around out the top ten. We were there, but... Yeah, wrong wrong tyres for us. I don't know if anybody else may have may have been as foolish as me. <laughs> ah, uh, God damn it. But, I mean, we had a good fight. We had a good fight. Um, sadly. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. What can you do? Uh, Shady Brady, thank you very much for the donation. Saying, I did hear you... Uh, I did hear you say bump drafting. Yes, we were bump drafting on... Uh, <laughs> on the good old uh, Silverstone circuit. Uh, Forza added Daytona and Talladega. Excellent. Sadly not. Um, sadly not. I wish... I wish... 
I mean, I probably Talladega. Day, Day, Daytona would make sense because you've got the road course, you've got the 24-hour, and all of that. Uh, we've got the DPI cars actually as well. Um, Daytona would make sense. I guess Talladega presumably doesn't have a. I don't think it has a road course layout. Although I'm a big fan of oval racing. Don't really know what the oval racing. Not really tried the oval racing in what, for what we do have in the game. Um, but uh, yeah, you, it, it, bump drafting is. I want to seem like a little bit more plausible in this game than in some previous ones, but it's not something I've really looked into. Uh, right, we are going to go have a go at Vent now. Uh, Colby, thank you very much for the super chat. Say, so, one of these days I will catch these streams when I'm off work and join in the racing. Uh, also, can I recommend Virginia with uh, inline Velosters, as it's uh, what I drive in real life? You can indeed. We could have a go. We could have a go with that at, uh, at some point, absolutely. Uh, so, our next race. We're going to... I don't, well, we go, oh, we'll go all the way to the W uh, for Laguna, because it's, it's technically WeatherTech. Uh, we are going to the, the short layout of Laguna. Uh, we're going to go in a different car this time around. I'm going to load up. We're going to have random weather, naturally. I'm going to load up. I'm going to have a look and see what car I might choose to have a go with. Oh, it's got foggy here at Laguna. Well, that's fine. Uh, so the outer loop. I mean, I, I like the outer loop. I think it's it's a bit of a novelty track that I think after we've raced it, like, yeah, after it's been around for a little bit, I think it's going to I say lose a bit of interest. Perhaps we will see. We will see. It's kind of it's fun circuit. Um, ah, you know what? Let's go for this was a I think this was a Danger Man suggestion before we started. Um, where is it gone? Shall we go for? A one make right. Uh, these may be a bit fast for this track, but they will be grippy. They will be grippy with advantage, and the second race will be with a bigger circuit. Um, uh, let's give it a try. Let's go with advantage. Advantage GT3 car. Uh, I, I would say I would open it up to GT3 cars, but I genuinely don't know what the balance is like. Uh, so it's probably going to be more fun um, with a one make with the Aston Martins. Uh, we will go and give this car a buy. Uh, so yeah, let's go for a one mate. Now if you don't own the car, you can go and rent it. If you don't have the money to go and uh, own the car, you can go and uh, go, go and give it a rent. We will set it just to make it easier <laughs> for everybody. Uh, don't know what that one was. Um, was that the old race car? I can't remember all the I can't remember all the uh, race cars and what the game has. Ah, chat is saying uh, Talladega had a road course. Um, I I did not know. They did stop using it in 1989, so it, it was stopped. It was stopped being used before I was born. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's. Uh, that's fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I mean, I guess we're probably going to see more ovals having road courses, like I say, like like Daytona, like the Roval, Roval Charlotte, isn't it? If I'm remembering correctly, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, <laughs> make the areas sort of multi-use, uh, so to speak. Uh, th these cars are going to be actually quite fast around here. It's going to be... Turn 1's going to be sketchy. I mean, the red... The Guna can be a bit sketchy throughout. Oh, there's a... <laughs> I mean, I'm not surprised someone's got the essentially Formula 1 livery. Uh, it's a shame you can't paint your cars in the... While you're in the lobby. Or, like, even even just... I mean, admittedly, it would work with the... Um, uh, like, the race cars, but you, know, you can't even select different colours. Um, ah, I didn't... I haven't... Thank you for reminding me. I need to sort out the tyres. We need soft compound tyres. I mean, these have got, like, endurance racing fuel tanks, so they can... Like, 20% will do plenty of laps. 25% will do more than enough. I'm always going to leave it a little bit more, because why bother? I'm not going to need to push it. I'm not going to be able to notice that half a tenth of difference a lap, essentially. Uh, night Sport, thank you very much for the donations. I had a crazy dream last night where I was swimming in an orange 
Oh, sorry, in an ocean of orange lemonade. Turns out it was just a fantasy. <sighs> you are going to get a boo from me, and you are going to get a boo from chat. I am sure of it. Uh, you are you are very deserving of a boo from chat and from me. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't have Fanta. I have I have co normally I say normally. Um, I do I do enjoy Fanta. It would have been funnier had I had Fanta with me this evening, but I, I, I don't. I have got some Coke, and I need a drink because all of this racing and commentating is is thirsty work. Uh, right, I think we're ready to go. Uh, yeah, we are good. Rusky may or may not get connected at some point. It might happen. It may not. It's anybody's guess. Uh, Oh, we've got Steve. Oh, well, someone to go and challenge Brazen. <laughs> Steve is very, very, very fast at uh, Horizon. So let's see how they do on motorsport. Uh, I'm scared slightly. Did I... Uh, what was I going to check? Uh, grid order is random. I was going to look for something, and I have forgotten. I've got a button to give Brazen random penalties. <laughs> uh, no, I think we're all good to go once Steve has got or borrowed a car. We will be, uh, yeah, we will be, we will be set. Not driven the Vantage, presume it'll be like all the other GT cars. Uh, oh, I was going to look at the tire pressures as well. That's what I was going to do. Are the tire pressures wacky? Uh, that's good enough. <laughs> some some cars end up with very very silly tire pressures, uh, like forties and like forty something fronts and low rears. It's bit. Some cars get very wacky tire pressures. This one seems all good. Um, or good enough. I don't know really well enough what I'm doing. So, here we go. Don't know if I want to start at the front. Honestly, starting further back may not be the worst idea. It's, again, just a let's survive. Uh, we are quite well. We are in the middle. The most dangerous, like if you're at the back, it's okay, because you can kind of get away from trouble. In the middle, it's uh, going to be more difficult to get out of trouble if if we need to. Uh, oh, we might, uh, might end up being pushed into trouble, but we are through. Uh, it's been mostly quite well behaved through that section. We've got one car doing a bit of the old rally cross up the hill and Liam a bit stuck. Blakey's making a break for it up at the front. Uh, we are all trying. <laughs> I was looking for a way past underneath. Not going to quite happen down there. Can we do anything spectacular at the corkscrew? Maybe. Yep. Yeah, we're going to get a good exit. Someone has spun off to the side. Did not see who that was. I don't know whether they hit the curb or whether they dropped it on their own or what happened. I was busy trying to make a make a pass stick, and which did work amazingly on the corkscrew. Get off the dirt. Not going to be particularly helpful doing that one. Right out of the final corner we go. A little bit of sliding from us. More sliding from the cars ahead. Not been a terrible first lap, if I'm honest. Uh, Blakey is enjoying that big that big comfortable lead for the moment. Don't really know where I need to break through here with this car. Just kind of being a smidge careful so that uh, I can react depending on what other cars, what happens to the other cars. Oh, that's. Yeah, that's definitely a flat out corner. It's just. Oh, Blakey's gone building sandcastles. The big lead! The big lead has vanished! And it's Liam again up at the front. That is unfortunate for Blakey. Yeah, it's. You know, we've. None of us, I suspect most of us, would not have driven this car around this track. So we are all learning what you can and can't get away with. And yeah, ask a little too much of it. Here, there's very little forgiveness. I mean, you run off, you hit the gravel or you hit the dirt. And once you're on that, it's so difficult to get a car off of it again. Lakey slipping and sliding. We can get the power down. A little better, but where are we going to go? It's side by side in front of us towards this sort of first corner. I'm going to just, again, be a little bit safe 
Uh, we run wide. That section there is not, gonna, not a complete car killer if you put a wheel in the dirt. Someone else is wide up the hill. That time it was Stevie. Uh, who has made a little error. I can't really attack this next section very well. There's a gap in the middle. <laughs> Wanted to try. Uh, we are just unable to make a huge amount of progress. Oh, there's cars that... No, oh, Stevie, you're going to be slow on the exit. We've kind of ruined Ewan's overtake a little bit by firing Stevie forward. We may be able to pass Stevie here, but it's going to be on the wrong side for the next corner. Can we... Hold that for the final turn, almost. We're going to put the nose in an awkward place, but it's not quite going to be enough. Oh, and I've got a cart looking underneath me as well. Still a little slow off that, you know, with a Mr. Gear or something. We are alongside again, coming up over the crest. Oh, it's such a dicey line. Oh, Stevie wanted to slow down a lot more through there than I was wanting to. Uh, <laughs> we've been doing Morse code on the back of Stevie's car. It's side by side for second. We clobber the curb. I've got a lot of speed here, but I'm struggling to be able to use it. Uh, well, some wood alerts have come in. I thank you very much. We are in the heat of battle and not able to look away at those just yet. Uh, we've lost out in a place while trying to find a way past Stevie. Uh, Liam's gone at the front. Again, has, has been able to get clear. I am not at the moment. Uh, maybe uh, it's, it's a bit too wide a return into that corner. Stevie's visiting some more Laguna sand. Uh, we get underneath on the exit. Oh, they've got a big slide. Uh, we may be able to make the most of this down towards this first corner. Uh, we are on the inside line. We've got the nose ahead. They have backed out of it. Probably the sensible thing to do. Back end of my car wanted to uh, let go in all of that. Right. Is there any more? Oh, God. Stevie is having a big lift down there. That corner is flat, I reckon. I was not expecting Stevie to have a big lift there. And it's kind of throwing me all out. Oh, God damn it. I just cannot clear Stevie at the moment. We've got way more pace. Uh, Danger Man's just sent it at the corkscrew. We might clear Stevie now. Oh, there's a slidey car. Uh, I mean, patience got the better of us a bit there. Uh, oh, God, they're three wide uh, through that one. Ewan's had a bad lap as well. Oh, Ewan's had a worse lap. I don't know if Danger Man can see Ewan uh, in that. Possibly not with the way Ewan's car got spat off of that crash. Um, yeah, Stevie's struggling. It surprises me, actually. Um... Stevie is is struggling with that car so much it has uh, say it has dropped back. Uh, now, will we be able to do anything down here on the two cars ahead? No, they can't see each other. Uh, oh, we maybe got a bit aggressive across the sand there. Just didn't really want. Danger Man is going to hit the dirt. That will be slow on the exit. I will say thank you very much. That will move me back up into fifth place. Took a while to get there. But uh, we have got ourselves back into fifth. Uh, where is that danger man, Aston? It's, it's about... Oh, God, the uh, uh, proximity arrow didn't turn up until a bit late. Well, this is going to become a battle for the podium as someone fell off the circuit. Don't know who it was. Danger man can get to the inside of the final corner. Uh, we are going to fight it out on the exit. We are going to have enough momentum on that wider line now we need to not fight danger man we need to go and get you and i missed a shift on that one let's uh let danger man rise up behind us oh yeah, danger man's a little quicker through there than i am nine tails is catching while we are all fighting uh, that is flat out through there great corner i do like the well i'm not a big fan of the outer loop in terms of what turn one becomes i do like the corner after it that's awesome fun, well, especially in a high downforce car, uh, where you really can uh, send it. Oh, well, they're having an argument into the corkscrew that has not gone amazingly well for either of them, by the looks of it. Uh, <laughs> there's that shot for a point. I don't know what the arrow is doing. I've got a broken proximity arrow. It's now gone away. That's good, at least. Can we get past Ewan? 
on the final lap of the race. He almost wide at the final corner. It gives me some hope. It gives me some hope here that we might be able to. It's been a good uh, lap seven, been quite good for me. What can we do on lap eight? You would hit the dirt on the way in. Got great speed down here. Ewan is going to defend, but you don't want to be on that tight line because you make yourself vulnerable up the hill. However, very difficult to overtake through that corner. Even in a GT car, helped by Ewan getting it over the curb. Ewan lost the back end. That will be a place on the podium for me as long as we don't completely bin it between now and the finish line. I don't know if Ewan's going to... Is Ewan close enough to send it in the final corner? I, oh, Ewan's having a look there. That's a difficult place to pass as well. Uh, we have one more corner to go. We're going to park it to make it difficult. Uh, Ewan gives us a little hurry up bump, but it is not ever going to be enough. Ooh, I'll take the third. <laughs> oh, that was hard work. That was hard work. It was good fun. It was it was it was good fun. Yeah, we got Stevie struggled with that car. We got stuck. We got stuck trying to find a way past. Uh, when we did finally find a way past, uh, we were chasing off after you. And Danger Man was quick. Nine Tails was quick. Uh, Nine Tails caught up to the um, uh, up, up to the group, shall we say? Uh, yeah, you you and it was a bit unlucky. Fell off the road on the final lap. Uh, <laughs> we we were going quite. I said we were going quite well by that point. Um, yeah, we were, we, were, we were battling out. I mean, a lot of us were quite similar. Liam was very fast with those cars. Where did Brazen end up? Has anyone seen a Brazen? Uh, uh, Bra Brazen got to eighth. Brazen was quite well, eighth. I'm going to guess stuck in traffic. was quick lap time-wise. Uh, beautiful podium. They are all identical. But uh, <laughs> you can't go wrong with an Aston Martin. And hey, it is indeed the first podium of the stream. I can be happy about that one. Can be happy about that one. Um... Uh, oh, someone was asking chat. Uh, Charles was asking. I am indeed playing on a controller. Uh, Forza is, I say, perfectly enjoyable. Playing on a controller. Uh, my, do I have a wheel that works? I don't even know if I have. I don't even know if I have a wheel that works with my Xbox. I'm not. I'm not set up to have the sim rig uh, really available at the moment. Um, but uh, so yeah, I'm. I'm playing on a controller. I have no problems with this game on a controller. I play with sim. Oh, so I use sim steering. You do get sometimes a sim steering twitch. Which is a bit scary, uh, but uh, yeah, um, it's it's slightly more manageable. Even if you are a lunatic like me and opt to run sim steering on a controller, it is um, more controllable than it has been in, say, in previous previous games. Uh, yeah, I like. I mean, I love the way this game drives. I think it's fantastic. Uh, while this game does some things incredibly badly. Driving physics are spot on for what I want from a Forza game. <laughs> like, absolutely, absolutely spot on for, 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 for a Forza game. Uh, so, yeah, if you play on a controller, you'll have fun. You play on a wheel, you have fun. Is that rain? Oh, it does look damp. Is it actually raining, though? What conditions it... Oh, it's drizzle. So this is not variable weather. What does the game reckon? Oh, the game reckons we should be on slicks. Oh, this is the dangerous one. Hmm. What on earth do you do about your time? I feel like I feel like I'm gonna I've got to gamble on the slicks, right? You're going to be so slow on wets that if you don't genuinely need them. I wish I could see what others were on. I don't know. So this this is not variable conditions. Um, it will just stay like this for the entire thing. The game recommended slicks. Is this wet enough? There is no inters. It's, it's slicks or wets. Like, well, the wets are kind of inters. They're not really like Formula 1 extreme wets. Um, uh, I don't know. Uh, Andrew, thank you very much for the donation. I uh, saying, is there a car that should be in the game but isn't? There are many. My RS6, for example, 
They've got all generations of RX-6s, but not mine, not the V10, not the one with the really cool engine, no. Uh, no, I mean, there's, there's loads of cars I would love to see in the game. There are some, you know, I say fairly glaring emissions and, and all that. It'd be too many to list. Um, odd things like that, they, they aren't in the game. It's... Uh, yeah, it's it's not a it's not a bad car list by any stretch of the imagination, but it's no means perfect. Um, my R six is particularly annoying. Uh, Longbow's ri ri um, risking softs. Uh, Scotty's on on slicks. There's a few people. Ewan's on wets. Uh, yeah, there's a few people. So this is this is always the just the most challenging condition. I love these sort of conditions. It's such a shame that the variable weather on this game is basically at the moment a guaranteed it's going to change, so you just run wets regardless. Um, because yeah, this this is the sort of conditions that are. Ugh. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm gonna risk. There's enough of us braving slicks. Um, the well, if we're wrong, a lot of us are going to go in the pits very quickly. I think it's just going to be slippery. It's going to be slippery on slicks and slow on wets, essentially. It's a, yeah, whatever, whichever way you go is a gamble. The wets are, might be too slow. The slicks might be too skiddy. <laughs> May lack grip. Uh, Drake, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, say, <laughs> saying uh, this could be bad. Um, I think it's supposed to be a library. It's so the stream lap has, has smushed it all together. Um, uh, my Mercedes went insane the other day when it went choo uh, choo with its horn during a race after after I fed it psychedelic fuel by accident. I wish I never told it. I'm not driving a train on the track. I'm driving a car around the bend. I think I'm going to give you a boo, just regardless at that point. Um, yeah, we're gonna, <laughs> gonna give you a boo. Uh, I think we're ready to go and do this horrible, horribly, uh, not horrible race, but this, this, I don't know what is gonna happen here. We may see, there are no mandatory pit stops, but we may see a bunch of cars diving in the pits. If the slick tyres are wrong, you'll see a lot of cars diving in the pits. If the wet tyres are wrong, I suspect they'll stay out. Um, it looks questionable, is what I'm going to say. Unit 81, thank you very much for the donation, by the way. For the Cult of 81, right there, it has got back on the donor. It's been a while since we've seen the Cult of 81. Uh, what is the brakes like? Don't, don't, don't all visit the gravel trap. I remember the Formula 1 race. <laughs> we are four wide on the exit. I think someone may, someone may have got a bit crossed up on the exit of that corner. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm, I know I am slow. I'm not trying to brake check cars behind. I'm just, I'm aware that I'm on a very tight line. And if I don't go slowly, we're going to be in trouble. There's not much grip out there. We, we move about under power uh, down there as would be expected. I mean, slicks aren't useless here. I don't think. I mean, it's, it's dicey, but it's, it's certainly manageable. If we can not make any mistake, I mean, we can just not make whether it's on, whether it's dry, whether it's wet. Uh, race, it's always easy to make mistakes. This is not probably not my best track. I'm not terrible at Nurburgring GP. Uh, yeah, not my greatest track, but I'm normally not too bad at it. Uh, we are catching the leaders as we head through the S's. Oh, don't don't go on the curbs. I feel like curbs are dangerous. There's uh, <laughs> anything. That likely upsets the Aston is dangerous through here. I really don't want to. I don't want to get held too much here if we've got pace. The longer we get stuck here, the more opportunities Scotty has to look for a way past. So we know. Well, we know. We, we believe Scotty's on the same tyres as us. Don't know what these two in front of me are on. Not stopping. Oh, we use Steve's brakes a little bit there. Sorry, Steve. Um, yeah, we will hold ourselves for a bit of a penalty. I opted to go across the chicane because otherwise I was going to uh, end up causing more trouble. So I'll just slot back in behind the cars 
uh, that were behind me. So yeah, we, we did not gain any advantage and we didn't punt, punt Steve out of the race. We just missed the brakes. Uh, so yeah, braking performance slightly worse in these conditions than you would normally get, as you would expect, really. Oh, Danger Man is there. Hello. Oh, come on, Aston. Find some traction. <laughs> it, it, it's got some. Danger Man may well be... No, not going to quite get on the power soon enough. It is definitely having a look for a way past. Uh, it is all the way to the inside on that bit. Uh, I wanted to get on the power a little sooner down there, but couldn't. It's all fine. Uh, right. This is gonna. This is shaping up to be a very big fight at the front of the field here. Uh, Stevie is maybe a little sideways through there. It's obviously a smidge wide. Oh, I wanted to actually go for a late apex there. Missed it. Uh, couldn't get the front end turned in. Danger Man was looking. I'm sure Brazen and Liam... Well, I bet Brazen actually might have disconnected. Might have to go. Uh, Brazen or Liam or someone is going to be charging through the field if we fight each other. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> you don't need... Uh, Danger Man's definitely got more pace in this car than, than me, I think. Uh, certainly at the moment. Uh, do not need help getting the car sideways when it's already out of the limit. I think Danger Man may have done a similar thing to me. Stevie's looking for a pass. Good spot to try and get... I say, good attempt. It's difficult to pass in this corner. Uh, no buggering. Not normally the worst place for trying to get overtakes, although it isn't the easiest. I've done exactly the same as the cars ahead. Uh, Danger Man has done... Danger Man has done exactly the same, but worse behind us. <laughs> we just all followed each other. We all followed each other like idiots off the circuit, putting a wheel in the gravel trap, just each of us progressively getting worse and progressively more off circuit than the other. And Danger Man, the big, the big loser, essentially, in that one. Liam is up to seventh. Uh, we have had it's a bit of a poor race, really. We've been quick in places, but then mistakes have been a bit too costly. We need to eliminate those going forward. Yeah, are we breaking down to turn 150 board? Ah, that seems to work. Liam is closing. I don't know. I think I'm. I think I am being a little bit too cautious with the car. Uh, it's slipping and sliding about all over the place. I mean, these conditions probably don't suit me particularly. As I've said many times before, don't like an oversteery car. I want a car that's planted. And while this is not, this is not the fault of the car. Because the track is like it is, it's greasy and there's not much grip, it just doesn't tend to suit me. I don't say that to patience. Uh, it's the way that I like to drive my cars, this generally, just generally don't suit me. I think I'm being a bit too cautious in places. Liam is able to carry a little bit more corner speed than I am uh, so far. Don't know what tyres Liam, Liam is on. Uh, it looks like a big group of cars is forming up for the lead. I mean, if we get this right... We may, I mean, if we don't make any more mistakes, we may all join the group if they start slowing each other down. Uh, we may end up bringing Liam with us and Aaron with us. And that's a bit too much speed maybe up the hill. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Liam. And I, I, I do appreciate you were trying to do that pass sensibly. I was not trying to come across and block you, but, uh, yeah, I got... I, I brushed, the, brushed the sand. It really was a small brush on that. It's a few millimetres away from being fine. And at that point, you're chasing the back end of the car across the road. It's unfortunate for Liam, who was going for an incredibly spectacular pass, if it had worked. Uh, but you do always run that risk. Of if anything goes wrong for me, you are going to end up on the outside of it. You are going to end up in the troublesome bit. Uh, right, we are out of the chicane now. Be hopefully good through the final corner. Maybe don't climb over the kerb. Would be helpful. Big line of cars we've got going on. So we've got the four leaders. They are about three wide going on there currently. I uh, don't know where to break for turn one. If Liam wants to go around the outside, oh, you are welcome to try. I think you're going to struggle to get the power down. Scotty's got themselves to the front of the pack. Can we maybe find a way to shove the nose up the inside? Can we find a way to get a pass on Gliska? Not quite. Basically, I'm doing to Gliska what Liam is trying to do to me here. All four of the leaders are very close together. Gliska's sliding. Uh, I had good. I had a really good run there. The only thing I could do with it was push Gliska forward. Uh, Gliska's going to defend the inside a little bit. 
See, I want to go all out attack on the car in front, but if I do that, Liam is just going to come past, like this perhaps. I don't think Liam's going to get the speed on the exit there. Do we have the momentum to try a pass down to the inside here? Almost. Liam's looking out wide. Stevie leads the race at the moment. Whee. So we need to get past Gliska, but we're only fighting Gliska because I made a silly mistake. We should have beat... Well, I think we should have beat. It was a, a small error that proved very, very costly. Uh, there's dust clouds heading up the S's again. Not going to find a move around the outside, I don't think. Gliska defending well at the moment. Stevie making a little breakaway at the front. It's side by side over second. Uh, they are costing each other armfuls of time. We've got a great run out onto the back straight here. Is it going to be enough to look for a way past a Gliska? Because if I commit too much to this, Liam may well get past. Oh. <laughs> Gliska under brakes. Just tapped the back of the car in front, but they're all now scrambling and fighting for grip. Liam's fallen back a little bit. We've got one more lap to go here. Uh, can we follow Gliska on this inside line? Oh, they've put a wheel on the grass, and that's going to be a bunch of positions gone. Unfortunate, but it does happen around here. Liam is still looking. Not going to be close enough to have a dive into turn one, I don't think. Maybe is going to have a dive. I saw... I saw the proximity arrow, gave space. Oh, slippy out there. There's no grip out on that part of the circuit. <laughs> Let's not go out there again. So I think Stevie leads, I think Scotty second, Steve in third. Liam is sending it to the inside. Oh, through there, we did have a little bit of a late turn in to that one. Hoping we can still straighten it up over there. Yeah, we can. Fending off against Liam for the moment. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, we're, well, we are we are now currently more under threat from the car behind than we are threat to the cars in front. But it does mean, because we're a little bit further back now, we can take the line I want. We can be as aggressive as we like uh, with our lines and put our car, well, I say where we want. We're not going to run into the car in front. Uh, Liam with the hurry-up bump mid-corner again. Uh, yeah, Liam is clearly quicker than I am with this car. Oh, no. 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 Ah. Would be on the final pissing lap. <laughs> ah. We've been holding on. I mean, we've been holding on for dear life for a lot of the race. Uh, in that one. And, yeah, Liam finds a way past. We are on the outside of the danger man here. Oh, there's not much grip for that one. Ah. Ah, uh, it's frustrating. Yeah, it's just all gone a little bit awry. Right at the end, the chicane that has been tricky all the race. Danger Man is not making that corner. Uh, uh, yeah, so Danger Man has lifted on that one. I mean, we were going to try and fire up the inside. In the end, uh, there was... I say, the, I say there was no need. Danger Man breaks too late. Uh, at all for that and uh, it's, it's you know we're all battling for position ah, that's that's a story of a race that could have been a very very different story I mean I think I, I think Liam was genuinely a lot faster than than me and a lot faster than that lap time would suggest um, all things considered silly errors from me in a couple of places it's just it was just been running a little bit wide and tapping the gravel that uh, that got the better. Ah, oh, Gliska was on wets. That's interesting then. That's very interesting. So the the wet tire. I think the wet tires were probably about the same. So like either way, um, either way you would have been fine. Either way it would have worked. Whether you went on wets, whether you went on slicks. Uh, <laughs> That's 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 interesting to know. That's interesting to know. The wets were probably a bit easier, I would expect. But yeah, uh, well, we have learned something new today. We have learned something new, <laughs> new here today, and the drizzle is about the same. Certainly, I had similar pace to Gliska in, in that one when I wasn't making silly errors. So... Ah, that, that was a fun experience.
<laughs> I think I'm going to go with that as a word. I'm going to go with that with that with a with a descriptive of this one. Um, uh, Crazy Cobra, thank you very much for the super chat. Apologies, I missed it a little while ago. Uh, so saying car parks are not soft. Okay, I may honestly, I may have said something dumb. It may be referencing something that I missed. It is possible. Knowing me, it is. Uh, it is possible I said something dumb, or it was from a little while ago. I do apologise, but I do appreciate the super chat um, very much indeed. Um, ah, so yeah, Glisco was saying there's the turning and I guess the traction, the power delivery was better for me, but the braking was better. To be fair, yeah, the braking was probably better. The braking was probably a little bit more um, consistent. It's a little bit less sketchy, uh, essentially. <laughs> Little bit less sketchy under braking when you've got the uh, I got the got the wet tires on. Right, we are going to go. So the next, so the next request was going to be uh, Velosters at Virginia. Now I don't know what it's supposed to be. Uh, do, 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 do. Well, it's supposed to be the touring cars or the actual road going ones. Uh, do we have. Do we have. Actually, I don't even know with it. Do we. Oh, no. God, can't find it that way. I will go and. Ch well, we'll go and check if there is actually a normal Hyundai Veloster. If there isn't a high If there isn't a normal. I think there is. I would. Yeah, there is a normal Veloster. So we're not going to go for Forza Edition. So we'll just have a stock race with Velosters. Uh. I mean, we have, I don't think we've actually done a one-make race with a road car before. Uh, have we done one? I don't, don't think, well, I don't think we've done one yet. Mostly have been doing the race cars for one-make races, funnily enough. This should be an interesting experience. <laughs> that's, that's for sure. Um, it is cloudy. Looks dry. Yeah, looks okay. Looks okay. I mean, not. It's less significant whether it's raining for this race because the car's not going to have tyres on it. I am going to buy one because I might as well try and level it up. I generally like the Veloster, actually. It's generally been a good car um, for. For me, um, uh, we could race the full layout, but the car's not very fast, so I don't really want to go to. I don't want to do a particularly long race with uh, a car that's not going to be amazingly quick. If we're on street tyres, we can dump a bunch of the fuel out. That is fine. We'll just aim for the seven laps of fuel. Twenty-eight percent is going to get us uh, around. Ewan doesn't like this drag. <laughs> I don't mind this. It's not my favourite circuit. It's not a track I know. I don't know the track amazingly well, but I do. I do like the. I do like um, the VIR. I just don't know the circuit very. It's a bit like Mid Ohio for me. It's a. Uh, it's a track that I like. I just don't drive it enough. Haven't driven it enough yet to know. Like Nurburgring GP, whether it's on Forza, whether it's on Gran Turismo, whether it's on a set of Corsa or automobile. Like Nurburgring GP, I've driven it on countless games. And while it will take a while to get used to it on here, I, I know the basics of it. Silverstone, I know. Laguna, you know. Uh, Lime Rock, I know very well. This track, I've only really driven it on Forza on the previous motorsport game, and even then didn't drive it very much. So I know, I, I vaguely, vaguely know it, but I don't know it well enough, um, but I do like the layout. I do like the full layout. I, I really like the full layout with the sort of big, like swooping section through the S's. When you've got a nice grippy car, that's wonderful. And I don't mind this layout too much. The shortened version, you don't quite get the full big swoopy section, but you, you still get some fun corners to deal with. Um, it should be good for a one-make race with some little hatchbacks. These are always fun. Uh, KSL praise. Thank you very much for the super chat as i've been watching your content for a long time love everything you guys do uh, don't get to catch you live very often but thanks for the amazing content ah oh, well 
Thank you very much indeed. It is, uh, it is greatly appreciated. I hope you're enjoying. I hope you're enjoying your chance of catching, uh, <laughs> catching a live stream. Hope you're enjoying the racing. Uh, so far, we've been having some good times. It's been good fun. Uh, there's been some, some close battles, some exciting battles, and all of that. So, uh, yeah, I hope I hope you're enjoying the the live stream. We've got everyone connected. We do have all connected. Uh, we, we did lose a brazen, right? Someone else. <laughs> see, more people might stand a chance of, of winning a race. Let's go see what the Veloster does. Um, as I said, I've liked this car in previous games. Um, I've built generally quite fast ones in previous games too. So, yeah, we will see how it goes. Uh, Bean, thank you very much for the donation. Saying, could you do a race with muscle cars, please? Uh, yeah. Muscle cars are ooh, interesting in this game. Forza, this game, has very much changed the way muscle cars and classic cars act. Certainly unmodified, they are all manners of sketchy. <laughs> Which, let's face it, should, is accurate. They should be. Cars from the 60s are not going to be great handling, or 50s even, some of them. Um, but yeah, there have definitely been some changes. Uh, as I say, I know that changes are aimed specifically at the old cars, I think with the way the physics and tyres and all of that has been adjusted to this game, it made the old race cars especially difficult. Uh, well, yeah, <laughs> sorry Danger Man, I was not trying to brake check you, uh, MG went way too fast into that first corner and I was checking up to avoid the inevitable bump that was going on in front. Uh, we will hug the inside again. There's a little bit of just staying out of trouble. Danger Man's done a good job of making the most of the opportunities. I'm actually not being brave enough in the Veloster here. We need to try and carry more speed. We should be flat through this section, I would think. Get it right. Uh, uh, <laughs> me and Danger Man with a lot of speed. Aaron and Shadow, a little bit tangled, a little bit slow. We had to try and thread our way through. Aaron's gone wide. Unfortunately, going to kind of end up where I wanted to be, so I couldn't quite get the move on Shadow. This section's quite good fun. Don't know how fast you can get away with it in a Veloster. Apparently, about that fast. Whee, we're going to go. That's a <laughs> it's not a pass I would have planned on doing, but it's a pass that worked. That is the bit that mattered, really. Okay, down the hill we head. Not going to look straight away. Oh, okay, so not going to look straight away. However, if there's going to be a door left ajar, I'm going to make the most of it. You know, there, there is a time. There is a time to sit and be patient, and sometimes the door just, just opens for you, and you've got to make the most of that opportunity. Uh, this time, it is Andy that is running away up at the front, enjoying some clean air. Don't know where to brake in the road car. About there will do. Yeah, it worked. Shadow was in the slipstream, was gaining a little bit, but just wasn't close enough to have that big dive. This corner here is actually quite quick if you get it right, which I rarely do. I'm not the person to tell you how to get around this circuit quickly. I just know from my mistakes in the past when driving this where I've lost, been losing time. That was one of the corners. Uh, actually, this circuit with this car is not particularly bad. We've gained a little bit of time, I think, on Andy. Although yeah, Shadow is very much coming with us. Is Shadow going to want to dive to Shadow? The question is, does Shadow know where the breaking point is down here any better than me? The answer is nope. I don't know whether that was from running wide in the braking zone or whether that was um, early on the brakes. We are... Oh, got a little bit little bit of a lively rear end going on from the from the Veloster but that's okay still lively rear end but I'm fine with that uh, we will run down the hill now oh, and the a little bit wide is there gonna be an overtaking opportunity into turn one though no, second gear second gear not the way to go for third gear that is the way to go for uh, we will fly our way towards the first corner um, and see what we can do. Now nah, we lost, we lost, well we're getting time overall. I think we did a good 
spot at some point in this race. Just yet, not quite, not quite yet for a big do Oh no, I was in a good spot. Ah, he's got carried away with speed. Oh, Liam's had turned up. No, I don't want Liam here. Liam, go back, go back down the grid. Uh, he's too fast. <laughs> oh, damn it. I was in a really good spot as well. If I could have got past Andy, we might have stood a decent chance of a victory here. But oh, it was only a little bit. Oh, well, Andy's gone wide through the next corner. Shadow is going to get themselves to the lead. Uh, okay. We are going to fall back into line. Yeah. <laughs> I got a load of understeer. And it was just... I did not want to end up in the back of a car, which we might end up in the back of here. Liam is all the way up to the leader. It's all changed this lap around. Uh, it's, it's all all changed and it started with me being a plank on that one, which I really shouldn't have been. Uh, oh, get that change of direction. I mean, if Shadow can stay with Liam and cause issues, that would be helpful. I suspect now Liam's got here it might be a little too fast for us, but you never know. Uh, I'm um, so I'm doing a bit better around here than I might have expected, although I think there's a good chance a lot of people won't have really driven this circuit either. So, oh, Liam's out wide, Shadow's out wide. We were the only one that stayed on the circuit, but in trying to get to the outside of Shadow, I might have lost a bunch of momentum. And, you know, a bunch of the, the momentum advantage that I thought I was going to have, we had to lose a bit because we were there fighting Shadow. Uh, Liam may not quite be vulnerable into turn one, Shadow's not going to have a look. Liam's very late on the brakes. Take it back. Liam is vulnerable into turn one. I thought I'd brakes too early there when Liam wasn't, st when I was already on the brakes and Liam wasn't stopping. Uh, <laughs> we got the braking right. Uh, sometimes it's really tempting. We all fall into this trap from time to time where you brake essentially where the car in front of you brakes. Uh, it's a really easy trap to fall into, especially if you don't know the track very well. And there are times like that where I braked where I thought I wanted to brake. I saw Liam wasn't braking, and I thought, oh, well, I beans that one up completely. Um, and if I had been following, I would have been joining uh, Liam in the scenery. So sometimes you've got to go with your own gut, gut feeling about where you need to get on the brakes. Uh, sometimes it is helpful to learn a track to follow someone who does know it. You can, you know, gain some good lap time following a car knows where it's going so that can be can be helpful if you suddenly stop following that car or you end up in a different position then it sometimes throws you but yeah uh now where do we break up here i you can race with racing line on i know some people uh, certainly will be here and uh, nothing against those that do i choose not to i like to try and learn the tracks properly it does mean i probably take a little bit longer to learn these tracks than some uh oh, we are around i love that final corner this track has really grown on me. I really didn't like it initially, but the more I drive it, the more I do like it. Shadow's got real pace here. <laughs> Shadow is, whether it's been me, whether it's been Liam, whoever it is, Shadow's been putting on a lot of pressure in these races. Now, how late there I break? I want to break just that little bit later than Shadow. Oh, no. Shadow's going to go for the cutback. The only downside for Shadow now is they are on the outside for the next quarter. They may get the overlap on us. Just about. No, we're going to run into this one. The only, again, the downside for me is I've got a really tight line. I have no speed on the exit. Uh, we're going to hold it, though. Shadow did not quite get the speed off of that corner. Uh, I'm all over the curb. That is a terrible line through there. We are a little bit parked on the old apex. And through the fast sweeping corners we head. It's going to be a, a busy end to this race. Shadow's again got a good run. We'll send them the long way round here. Do I want third or do I want second? I feel like second's going to be a bit too short. We're just going to spin the wheels. Liam was looking out wide, couldn't do it. The defensive piece of driving there does seem to have worked. Now this next section uh, we have been a little bit vulnerable up here. Although it's not really the best overtaking spot. Your best spot is into the final corner. But that does rely on the car ahead making a mistake. It's not really a, a big dive bombing sort of corner. Uh, we've just got to get around here relatively quick and don't understeer into the grass, which we do. If anything, Shadow is too busy fighting with Blakey and Liam. Ooh, we are going to 
run to the line. We will claim victory. We get our first victory of the evening. That was a lot of hard work. Liam was very quick. <laughs> I think I might have had a bit more speed in that car if I could... I, mean, I, I have no doubt I could do a 40.4, 40.0 um, if I could actually learn that track. Liam Ninetales Longbow climbed up miles through the field. Well played, Longbow. Uh, all the way up into, into sixth. Aaron, I think we saw Aaron at some point. Aaron clearly had pace, but uh, did end up sliding down the order, and Stevie had a disconnect along the along the way. Uh, there was, I mean, there was a little bit of cheese in that it was helped that Liam fell off the road, having immediately got to the lead. So, like, Liam took victory and then, or took, took the lead, and then immediately explored at turn one. Um, so... Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's helped. That's helped. I mean, we, you know, it wasn't a, um, completely, um, com completely cheesed victory. You know, we were, we were, we were quite quick. You know, we were, we were neat and everything. Um, but yeah, there we go. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. I got a victory. Not the race I thought we were going to win. <laughs> But I will, I will take it. Uh, thank you very much to someone. I'm not sure who you are. Um, it was just, it was just an underscore uh, for for a very generous, for, for another generous uh, super chat going on there, or a sticker. Uh, I don't quite know what the YouTube thing, the YouTube thing is. It's a little, a, a little dog with a trophy. Molly, can you, can you? No, you're, you're fast asleep still. You, you're, you're knackered. Uh, <laughs> No, Molly's not going to go give us a trophy for, for getting a, a victory today, are you? Um, nope. Uh, <laughs> Velosters at, at VIR were great fun, actually. I was, you know, I, I mean, I always enjoy one mate racing, but yeah, Velosters were, were good fun around there. Now, Bean asked if we could do a race with some muscle cars. I feel like uh, that should be good fun. We're going to do... Um, yeah, I'm going to do a one mate race with them. The, the only reason is... <laughs> Don't really have enough stuff modifiable to to make a to, to make a balance uh, out of all of this. So yeah, we will do a one make race with some muscle cars. Uh, oh, that could be mm, that could be fun, but maybe for our best bet of a of a good race, let's go let's go Homestead Miami. Uh, let's go or some random weather and for the cars. We are going to. If I just put, okay, let's reset that one. Uh, oh, what muscle car do we want? What muscle car do we want? Uh, we could erase the 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 machine. Can't go wrong with that. I mean, we can race the. I'm presuming you meant classic muscle, because you know. Ooh, that could be fun. I I see. I'd normally go dodge. Oh, do they have any Plymouths in this game? I don't think they do. Oh, they do! Of course they have the Cuda and the GTX. Let's go race a Plymouth Hemi Cuda. It is probably my second favourite of the muscle cars behind the Charger. Uh, and it can be in purple, although it won't be able to be in purple. Let's go race a whole bunch of Hemi Cudas. Uh, <laughs> let's go... Oh, for, uh, for, for those about the dog, yeah. Um, oh, did I...? select the wrong circuit. I did. I don't do not want to be here. Uh, <laughs> nope, didn't mean this one. I meant to go uh, Homestead. Don't want... Why am I Why am I here? Don't want the Mon. Uh, I don't know why I had... Why on earth I had selected that. I never want to go there willingly. Uh, <laughs> yeah, anyway, I've got... To, uh, um, um, dog sitting at another dog. One of the dogs that, that me and Carly walk. Um, so that is... That is why we have... That's why I have a different dog here. Uh, well, I wonder if when I like reset, when I press reset to default, I thought it was just selecting the ones that was there, and it may have it may have gone to different places. I'm gonna have to check all the settings now, aren't I? God damn it! Uh, let's just go make sure all of the settings are right for this. Uh, yeah, it did reset everything. Okay, that's a new thing. That is a new thing to, I say, to deal with. That's something to remember. Uh, all right. I think that's about everything it needs to know. 
Okay. Um, place your bets, folks. Where am I going to come in this one? I love muscle cars. However, probably doesn't suit my... They probably don't suit my driving style all that amazingly well. Um, so, yeah, I, I think we're going to probably be like 5th or 6th. Unless we start 24th, in which case it'll be difficult to make progress. But you never know. You never know with these one-make races. So, uh, long with version... I prefer the version of this with the banking at the end. Oh, we don't get that version uh, on Forza. I don't... Did we get it on previous motorsport where we could run the banking to cross the start-finish line rather than kind of like the wiggly, nasty section? We got some... I feel like this this game is missing a lot of like the short layouts or alternate layouts of circuits. Um... Like, we, we have one alternate layout of Road America, but we don't have the actual more interesting alternate layouts. Um, I think that's to do with pit lanes. As um, Actually, I, th I guess that... that I mean, pit lanes on this one wouldn't matter, because even, even with the banking, it would still be there. But I'm going to guess some of the short layouts that we used to have, we now don't get because they wouldn't have space for a pit lane, which is a bit of a shame in some ways that you couldn't fudge a pit lane somewhere. But... Uh, yeah, we do seem to be missing some. Not all, but we do definitely seem to be missing some shorter, shorter layouts or alternate layouts for circuits. The, the Road America one that springs to mind, I'm going to guess, is because of the pit lane. Um, uh, Monza, is, Monza is not in the game. I mean, uh, no great loss in some respects. Well, I'm not the biggest fan of Monza. It was never the best circuit to race on, because you just have an accident at turn one, basically. Uh, that's that's sort of it. Uh, I would say so, sort of it. Um, yeah, Mon Monza was never the most exciting circuit, but uh, places like Long Beach, we don't have. Brands Hatch, don't have. Um, yeah, seems, seems to be missing. I know we've got some tracks on the way. The Norge Life is, is on the way. Yas Marina is on the way. I hope some other ones are, are, are on the way, too, because... Uh, yeah, um, places like Brands Hatch are great fun. I'd much rather Brands Hatch than I'd much rather Brands Hatch than the Norge Life. I, I know I'm one of the minority in that one, but uh, I'd much rather I'd much rather Brands Hatch than Yas Marina. <laughs> uh, outside of one V8 supercar race that was very exciting there, but that was more to do with fuel saving and all sorts of stuff. Uh, <laughs> Yas Marina's not not really been the best. Um, who are we waiting for? E E E Evox, I'm probably mispronouncing it, but if you could please already up. Oh, yeah, I've done. Thank you. We will get racing. Some Hemi Cudas around Homestead. Let's see what is going to occur in this one. Hopefully, a good race. I am minorly concerned. Bathurst isn't in either. No, nope, that's that's not here. I'd love to see more Australian. I'm, I admit, I would love to see some more Australian circuits like um, Adelaide and so on. That is always unlikely. But, uh, yeah, I would love to see those. As much as I would love to see more British. I'd love to see the likes of Sakuba back as well. Uh, <laughs> always like racing Sakuba. Um, or I'd, I'd always want to see Sugo in a game, but that is... Again, I'm not really expecting that very often into games. But, uh, yeah, who knows what might be coming to the game in the future. Oh, no, don't... I mean, I'm so sorry, Nine Tails. I was very given very little option there. You can't, you can't move across when I've got a car on my outside. Obviously, if you're in first-person view, you may not realise. That's one of the reasons why I am preferring to drive in third person at the moment, uh, because you ju a it's a bit better for uh, sort of the viewers, I think. The third person, you can kind of see a bit more what's going on, but also you can actually see better if you are two or three wide with cars. I mean, I know it's a problem in, in real life sometimes, that. But uh, even with, like, the max field of view in this, when you're in first person, you can't see the mirrors. And I'm not going to be able to flick the stick to look side to side very easily. So, yeah. It's just third person will do for now. We are a little wide of the hairpin. That is not really where I wanted to go. The only plus point is we should be able to get on the power quite nicely. <sighs> Longbow leads. We are in fifth, about where we started. We lost out of position to Nine Tails. We gained a position uh, somewhere. I can't remember who it was that we overtook. Um, now, how 
fast can we go through there? Faster than we did. Danger, Danger Man was braver. Danger Man was a lot braver. <laughs> well, I um, mean, yeah, Danger Man was quite late on the brakes through there. I was expecting a much earlier turn in for them. We're going to try and cut underneath. That's going to go wide up banking. These should be high enough. They don't, at least don't bottom out when you go up the, go up the banking. And they're quite soft. The softly sprung, decent ride height should go up the banking quite well. Uh, we will barrel into this turn one of someone's gone adventuring. Not sure who that is. It looks like it might be a controller malfunction or something uh, over there. Because that went a long way off. Although I, didn't, I don't know whether they maybe had a rear wheel on the grass in the braking zone or something untoward because that was a long, long, long adventure for them. Now can we find a way past Erratic here on the power? Oh, I left it a little too late. Left it a little too late to get out of the slipstream. We may still be able to do this down here. We're on preferred line into this corner. Again, identical cars. You're going to struggle to make that work on the outside, and sure enough, we are through. So Longbow leads from Nine Tails. Danger Man is in third. We are going to try and chase down the cars ahead. There's a podium in the office. There's a huge gaggle of vehicles further back that uh, look like they are having a crazy, crazy time. But oh, sliding, maybe sliding, little sliding on there. Yeah, that's. <laughs> it is a shame we can't select the colours of the car when you buy the damn things. Because we've got a little. As much as I like. You know, orange and black. Uh, it's got a little bit of a boring, boring grid going on. God, this car is always really difficult to see. <laughs> Turning in too late. Not the ideal line through there. But we're not exploring the grass. That's the bit that matters. I'm going to say most. Kind of. No, we'll explore the grass a little bit through there. And cut it too much. You can get away with cutting that a bit. So we haven't got to say, oh, this turned on. Uh, it's a fine line between cutting, oh well, I say cutting it the right amount, and uh, that one there that was probably a little bit too greedy. Oh, does that work for the breaking point? Mostly. Yeah, <laughs> we'll get away with that one. It's very fine margin to these. These aren't, the muscle cars aren't as bad, I say aren't as bad. Muscle cars aren't quite as crazy difficult to drive as the 50s race cars. Those things are just death traps. Um, the the Mercedes that we saw uh, recently that, uh, that Chris has used for the uh, what's we call the, the lucky dip, the lucky dip racing, uh, that 300 SLR a car that I've loved in, in Forza games of old. Uh, yeah, Nine Tails drove it for something that we filmed or tried and immediately abandoned it. It was just that awful. Uh, <laughs> it was. It's just, yeah. So those, those really old race cars are difficult to drive in this game. These aren't too... I say these aren't too bad. I mean, they are... You can tell they're heavy. You can tell they're a bit boaty. Oh, uh, Lombo... Lombo's got some speed in this car, actually. Nine Tails is there. I'm clinging on to Danger Man. We've pulled well clear of the rest of the pack. Uh, we are not quite as fast as the top two. I don't know if I wanted third gear through there. And it's worked. Well, again, I don't know how, I don't quite know how close I am to the limit with this car. Struggling to figure out what I can and can't get away with. Uh, that wasn't a terrible, it wasn't a terrible final chicane. I think I've got to get turned in sooner. I'm better off getting it turned in sooner and getting a straighter run out of that final corner. It's more important to carry speed down the start finish straight than it is carrying speed on the way into the corner. Especially if we're trying to overtake Danger Band, if we were literally right there, maybe you would try and carry a bit more speed on the way into a corner. But when we are essentially hot lapping at the moment, we're trying to get up to Danger Band, I think focus on the exit where we can. We've done better through that first section. Now Longbow and Ninetales are starting to fight. So if they really fight, they really slow each other's down that would be helpful to us. Uh, it, well, it looks like they have a little bit. Me and Nageman have both gone wide. Uh, uh, Ninetales nine actually got to the lead relatively efficiently. Longbow's lost a little bit of time, but neither of them have lost a big chunk of time. They're still 3.6 seconds clear. It's seven seconds of the car behind, so they really are in a fight back there. 
uh, we are trying to be just that little bit later on the brakes than Danger Man. What's going to happen at some point? Danger Man is going to go wide into a corner and we're going to go even wider, but for now, for now it's worked. This lap we have caught up slightly. The fight for the podium is very much on. It's good. It's, uh, we're going to have only one lap to try and do it. Danger Man is wide there. I am also wide, but again, not quite as far wide as the car ahead now. We're going to try what I've not been doing very well so far. So this is the focus. I oh, no, didn't get the change of direction right. Still better. It was be much better that time around, but I did not get it how I wanted it to. However, I will take what we can get here. Uh, one more lap. One more lap to go. Oh, Danger Man does break earlier than me down here. Uh, this is where we have been making time up. I should probably be aware Danger Man is going to be a little bit earlier on the brakes through that part. I don't know whether the turning in a bit sooner here is a good idea or not. Maybe. Can I get a good exit? I mean, this is where we saw Ninetales get past Longbow with a good exit out of this corner. However, Danger Man has done well. Ninetales pulling away a little bit up at the front. We are well clear from anything behind. Nothing is going to be able to find a way past us. We are on the brakes. We're pretty much so we're pretty much following Danger Man. We were again a little bit earlier. We're still a bit wide through that corner, but a little bit earlier on the brakes. We've got it slightly closer to the apex. Is Danger Man going to feel the need to cover down the bottom here? Yep. Probably wise. Is the final lap of the race. If I'm going to try something, it's now. Uh, we are not going to be able going for a cutback on the exit here go for a super late apex on this corner can we get it not quite yeah i was never going to go around the outside never planning on but we maybe asked a bit too much of the brakes in that section uh, danger man is under immense pressure now uh, can we if we can be good through this corner and then be good no we're not quite i don't know actually because danger man is all out of shape through here can we be really good through here to oh, go for the drag race towards the line. It's going to be super close, but I think Danger Man is going to just hold on. Uh, we threw the lot at it. Just ran out of time. I say just ran out of laps. Uh, <laughs> good race. It was a good fun race. Uh, could not match the pace of the top two. Well, again, not a million miles off. We had some decent pace. No one else in the field. Um, was was you know that much five even liam got up to fifth even liam wasn't that much you know in fact the top two although liam was in traffic so that maybe doesn't doesn't really count um yeah no, that was a great it was a great race with danger man we tried everything at the end uh could not quite not quite make it work um but uh yeah <laughs> There we go. There were little errors from both of us. Nothing nothing hugely costly. I could maybe have done more into turn one, actually. I could maybe have sent it. Um, at, at turn one, if I've been feeling really brave. Because that was probably where I was making a lot of my lap time on that one. But, yeah. No, it was it was great fun. I, th I thoroughly enjoyed that race. Uh, so, <laughs> even if it was only really the two of us uh, for, for that last place on the podium. Because uh, the mid-pack was, was so chaotic. Uh, James Anderson, thank you very much for the donation. Say, may I request a one-make race with your choice of B-Class Lotus at Suzuka? Well, you can indeed. I mean, it's going to be the Amira, basically. <laughs> uh, I, th uh, it's the, I think the Evora might be B-Class. The Amira is just a strong b it, it starts at the top of B-Class. It's just quite a good B-Class. Um, Vehicle. We can have a go at Suzuka with, with the Amira. Why not? Uh, events. There we go. Alright, uh, Suzuka. Let us go here. We'll go, we'll go four laps of B-Class. will be not amazingly fast. It could rain. You know, I'm, I'm always sticking it to random. Because, you know, that chance of rain is, is just always scary slash fun. Uh, we want the Amira. There we go. I mean, I don't dislike the Amira. Oh, wrong bloody layout. Forgot. Sorry. Hold on. <laughs> Bear. Bear with. I forgot when you select a track. Oh, it looks like it's going to be a wet one. That's okay. Uh, event set up. 
we want the full circuit. There we go. I mean, so, so far, of the races we've had in the rain, we've had Suzuka now, and we have had Nürburgring. I feel like very fitting. If it rains at Silverstone, then we... <laughs> We actually got, we got through Silverstone in the dry, it, but it has been, uh, so far, sticking to stereotypical weather for the various circuits. Right, let's go. Do I have a... I have an Amira, don't I? Do I? I do have an Amira. <laughs> so I thought I did. Got a level 9 one. I will... I think this is stock, but just... Uh, oh, I haven't used... I haven't, what did I use this for? Don't remember. But I haven't used any car points, so yeah. Car is is stock. Um, oh, I almost had an internet death. I mean, so far my game hasn't crashed today. I feel like we're we're doing fairly well. If if my game hasn't had a death at some point, you know, we are not doing too badly at all. Oh, hello, doggo. Hello, Molly. You look you look very sleepy. You have got bedhead going on, which is quite funny on a dog. Uh, <laughs> no, no, you go back to curl up in your bed, are you? Yeah. You look very comfy in there. Um, right. Everyone will get their admirers ready. We will try and get a longbow back connected. Now, if you would like to uh, to take part, you are more than you are more than welcome to. Just like we have a couple of spaces. Um, going forward, if you do want to join, you and as a person to message. Uh, currently, game tag highlighted on screen. Send, send, send you and a message, and he will try and get you connected. It has to be well, it's be on Xbox or the Xbox app via PC. Uh, yeah, we'll try and get an invite your way. Oh dear, stage man, broken things. Okay, slight warning: we discovered a new a new glitch with Forza the other night when filming, and it is possible that Danger Man might have the, um... <laughs> basically a camera glitch, whereby the camera is focused in the pit lane rather than actually... Like, you can still drive the car, but the camera is not looking at the car. So, if you are starting near a Danger Man, be careful. Just, just, just be a bit careful. And... I mean, there's not much. There's not much you can do. Uh, not much that Danger Man can do, but it's just as a general warning for uh, for everybody. If you are near Danger Man's car, it may struggle to move off the line. It, or it may move off. It may move off the line. It may do something erratic. It may be weird. So, uh, yeah, just just be aware. Apparently, longbow has got internet issues. It seems be aware if you are near that. Um, uh, oh, yes, as as Ewan has said, only send you in one message. If you send you in multiple messages, all it does is it keeps putting you further and further back on the list. So if you send you in one message, you will go through the list in order. So if, if you send one message at the start of the stream and then send another one 20 minutes later, and then no, later you just keep putting your, resetting yourself further and further down the order. So only send one, otherwise you're just going to keep putting yourself further and further down the list. Um, there we go. Uh, Danger Man doesn't need the third person handicap. That's, the, that's only for Brazen and Liam. In fact, Liam was affected by it the other night when filming as well. Um, it, it's, it's a weird glitch. Don't worry, it's going to make an appearance um, in a video over the next few days because it's very funny. Yeah, I, I, it's really difficult to explain. To just explain to you quite how it works without until you actually see it. Um, uh, Manuel Weir, thank you very much for the super chat. So I've just seen a vote on the forums about uh, Fujimi Kaido, and it's the second highest voted slash wished for track. Do you have an opinion on that track? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to it being in the game, but it wouldn't even make my top ten of circuits I would want in the game. Uh, I mean, it, the circuits I would, I would much rather have many real-world circuits over uh, over for Jimmy. I, I would much rather have, you know, Brands Hatch, Alton Park. Much rather have Adelaide. I could, you know, I could go on with with a lot of Sonoma. Yeah, I could keep going on and on with with a list a list of circuits. But real-world circuits, or many real-world circuits, would come before 
you would get to that on the list of tracks. If I was going down the list of fictional Forza circuits, it wouldn't be the top of my desired list. I would want to see Iberian back. I always loved that circuit. It was a great fun track. It wasn't the greatest circuit in the world, but to me it was good fun. However, if Fujimi came back, I certainly wouldn't be against it. There is stuff that we would end up using it for. Um, you know, soapbox racing, hill climb tournaments, that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't be. I certainly wouldn't be opposed to it making an appearance, but real-world circuits, many real-world circuits would take precedence for me, for me personally, um, over, over that one. Right, let's go see what these low ties do in the rain. <laughs> What could possibly go wrong? Um, uh, turn one's going to be fun. <laughs> These are all solid B-class cars. They're nice to drive. They're pretty quick. Um, in these conditions, though, yeah. Uh, it's going to be an interesting... An in interesting race, I think. Gonna, largely going to depend on where where we start on the grid. Oh, of course, yeah. The oh, we are actually have quite good grid spots. The the New York circuit from Forza Motorsport Three will always be my favourite fictional. It's a very simple circuit. It's a very simple circuit, but that was always one of my favourite circuits because it, it was a pure high speed bravery test uh, with the chicanes. I, I, I've always been a big fan of like the super high speed chicanes on on circuits in general. And yeah, New York was the ultimate test of precision at very high speeds with very big consequences if you got it wrong. So yeah, always, always love New York. Would love to see that back. I doubt we ever will, but that would again be another one. I mean, uh, what was the other Camino Veo? Always, always like that as a track. Oh, I mean, it was a bit of a. That one was, was a borderline on more of a showcase than an actual circuit, but it did still work as a circuit quite well. Um, but yeah, I, those, those would be my top three. New York, Iberian, Camino Veo uh, would, be, would be the ones that I would... The fictional circuits I would back most. The fictional tracks on this game are actually really good. I have got to give them credit. I mean, well, there's an oval... You know, there's an oval. Uh, but the, the other two are actually genuinely very good fictional circuits. Grand Oak Raceway and... Uh, Hakone isn't my favourite, it's not really my sort of track, but it is a fun fictional circuit nevertheless. So, yeah. Uh, can we get to the inside of the hairpin? We're a little bit locked up. Oh, we might end up opening the door to a Blakey here. The only problem we and Blakey are going to have is we're going to have no momentum on the exit compared to Crib. Oh, it's, yeah, three wide is very dangerous. I mean, we might be in identical cars, but uh, Gabe, really, you're going to get... I, mean, I know it's only a warning and everything, uh, which is about as much as it can do with having to turn the penalties off, but really, we were three wide on the exit there. Uh, in horrific conditions, I'm not really sure there was much more any of us lot could do. I think considering the scenario we were in... It was relatively good. <laughs> it was only minor contact. Oh, uh, don't stick your nose at the inside at 130R. Nope. Did not think you would want to do that. That's too fast. Did not. No, well, quite a few of us have gone on adventures. Yeah, no idea how much speed was able to, was going to be able to be taken through there. Blakey struggled to slow it down for the final corner. Danger Man's put it on the gravel or the AstroTurf on the exit of the chicane. I was a little bit slow on the way into the chicane, but it actually kind of worked out quite well for us. Um, Andy is on the move a little bit. There's someone, I don't know who it is behind them. I don't know who it is in the sixth. Coming to join this manic group. I'm going to go for a bit earlier on the brakes into turn one. Christ, I was early on the brakes and still only just pulling it up in time. See, for thunder, like thunder clouds and so on, it doesn't look like it's raining that heavily, but the circuit itself is absolutely drenched. Uh, the grip is, I say not really there. There isn't much of it through here. Oh, it's Liam. No, I don't, no not Liam. <laughs> I mean, I had the feeling it probably would be, but uh, Liam has once again charged up through. See, look, the random grid has been a bit funny, and it's, not, it's doing the GTA thing of not really randomising it very well. With, I've been I've been kind of in about third to eighth for the majority of these races, which is 
I mean, it's possible with a random, of course, but it is just a little bit weird I turn into. So, through that one. Oh, not what I was aiming for. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm turning in expecting the understeer to carry me a bit wider there than it actually, actually did. Didn't really gain all that much uh, from that. Blakey's on that wide line. It's not the worst line. You've got to be a little careful with that wider line because... As you saw there, the, the sort of natural line that I end up on kind of cuts across a little bit. We are too far back, but uh, that wide line can work. You can be aware you can be quite vulnerable from cars behind. Liam is going quicker in spoon. I'm never good at spoon. <laughs> uh, it's quite I've always struggled to carry speed through. And Liam is clearly better than I am. Uh, Volatile is sticking with us, so we've got this five-car group and then a little bit of a gap. A little bit of a... A little bit of a break. Blakey with a good run on Danger Man here, but it's 130R. Uh, what are you going you, to... You're just going to sort of sit and follow through 130R for the moment. Uh, I'm a small bit wide. Dan uh, Danger Man was a small bit wide. Liam wasn't. Liam's in a good place, but into the chicane. It's very narrow. <laughs> It's very narrow with road cars. How do you Formula One cars and the like feel through here? Uh, these are slow road cars going through that section. Liam actually struggled on the exit. Blakey with a great run on that. Now, you two go side by side towards turn one. That's good news. You do that, and it'll be really slow through the first corner. Hopefully, I can catch up or we'll go really wide through turn one. That also can work. I didn't. I didn't go wide enough mid-corner there to get the ideal line, but we were at least tidy. We didn't put a wheel on the grass like, well, like Blakey has. Can I be a bit sneaky? It's very, very difficult to pass through the S's. Blakey was like, Blakey made a tiny little error, and that is all it took. It has thrown me completely off my rhythm through there to do that, but we have got the pass done. Has Liam... No, Liam hasn't got clear of Blakey. That helps me out massively. It, it keeps Blakey busy and it puts a car between me and Liam, which is much better for my chances in this race. Uh, can we go and chase down a Danger Man? And if we can, can we find a way past? Well, it's clear Danger Man's camera isn't stuck in the pit lane, which is good. Oh, Liam's got Blakey anyway. Uh, God damn it. Liam is just bloody fast at this game. Uh to the hairpin. We're going to hug the inside. I don't think first gear was the way to go there. Uh, I went down one too many years. I thought maybe I could go to first and kick the car out of the corner, but it didn't work. Um, uh, Liam has just got the run here and will get past us. I've got no answer to that. Now, we can either hope that Liam makes a mistake. That would be helpful. I mean, if, if Liam ends up tangling with a man of danger, there could be an opportunity for us, or for me to sneak past, could even get me and Blakey past, uh, depending on what goes on. Liam's going, that's, uh, <laughs> that's a bravery play around the outside there. That is some commitment from, from Liam there. Blakey's out a little bit wide. Liam's to the outside at the final chicane. Liam may be a little bit undone here. If they're not careful, we're going to try and pin them down. Oh, it's an opportunistic manoeuvre. Blakey's trying to get involved as well. The problem with the opportunistic manoeuvre I did is I've got no speed on the exit. That almost worked. Now we've lost the bloody third place to Blakey. Ah, I think it was worth a go. We helped Danger Man out inadvertently, kind of helps Danger Man out. I mean, the goal was to clear. Oh, no, don't even think about it. I mean, I don't really appreciate the bump in the corner, but, uh, you know, uh, it's fine. We didn't lose too much. It's a, it's a frustrating one in that we're setting up, we're busy trying to set up pass on Blakey. We get nudged mid-corner, and... Any hope we have of that one is a little bit gone. Liam's a little bit out of shape through the S's. Blakey's a little bit on the grass, but that's fine. Danger Man, will Danger Man be vulnerable out of 
Degna 2. That is where Blakey got the pass. Uh, well, Liam got the pass on Blakey, sorry. Don't know. I mean, any contact up ahead could be good news for us. Though we are now a little bit further back. Danger Man is defending. I have defended a little bit too much. And it's our turn to get in trouble on the exit of the Degnas. Uh, you can try the inside into the hairpin, but I'm going to now defend quite heavily here. Whoop. All is fine. Liam's looking to the outside. Liam may get that outside line working. They are busy fighting side by side. I struggled on the exit there. Oh, no, you've gone too wide there. Ninetales is coming to join the party. It's still... Oh, no, it's Liam now that leads. I say, Danger Man has been passed. Blakey's looking for a way up to second. Uh, oh, Liam's done it again. <laughs> uh, oh, no, sorry. That was Danger Man fired it to the inside. Danger Man did actually get past Liam down that straight and then fired it wide. Liam with the kind of cutback. They're going to go side by side to 130R. Blakey's watching and waiting. We are a little too far back, having had our own fight here. Ninetales is catching us. And we are going to be potentially vulnerable to a nine tails into the final corner. Uh, through 130R, oh, we're a little bit wide, as is nine tails. That's, that's helped me in terms of one less car immediately on our bumper. Are they going to cause issues for each other here on the run to the line? They do. Blakey's going to have the best run of all of them. But I think Blakey's going to be a bit too far back to be able to do very much. Danger Man squeezes. Actually, Blakey may get them both towards the line. It is three wide towards the finish line, and I don't know who won. We will get fourth. Uh, I genuinely don't know who got it. Liam got it in... Jeez. Two thousandths of a second separated Liam and Blakey. Three hundredths of a second separated the top three. We could only watch. Uh, we could only watch on that one. Struggled a little bit to get to grips with that car. Uh, did not. Did not really. It didn't quite work for me. It was. It was a fun to be a part of. But uh, <laughs> yeah, little scruffy from me right at the end when we where we really needed it. Um, yeah, Danger Man did. He did a fantastic job of holding them up for as long as possible. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Liam made it work. Chuff. Blakey almost snatched that one right at the end. Uh, very, very good. Very good move to try and sna snatch it right at the end. Just not quite. Just not quite in the end. Steve with a lot of, of position gained. Longbow with a lot of position gained as well. Um, the game it is it's very GTA. It's like getting to put Longbow at the back at the moment. Don't quite know why, but... Uh, there we go. Drake, thank you very much for the donation. Saying a limerick time. Uh, <laughs> and this is a limerick. Uh, racing quite fast in a bunch of touring cars. Fail race filming crew are absolute superstars. But in the heat of the race, he flies into space. His destination, it seems, is the planet Mars. It does happen. It does definitely happen. Uh, <laughs> we haven't had any massive roles today. We haven't had any massive, massive roles today. We've had a few adventures. We've had a few adventures. We've had a few outbreaking moments. Um, but not too many crazy, crazy space trips. Good limerick, though. Good limerick indeed. I'm not going to give you a boo on that one. Um, uh, right. Shall we go for... Uh, let us head to... Let me think what car, what car do we want to drive... Next, I will figure out the best. I say the best way to go through all of this. Uh, I can't do it like that because the lobby is still. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Let's not lock it to a specific car. Let us instead go to somewhere we haven't driven yet today. Uh, we can go Magello. I don't think we've really done anything on Maple Valley. It's a good. Hmm. Yes, it's not a bad circuit, Maple Valley. Uh, we will go full circuit, five laps. We will go, again, random. Who knows what it might do. We're just going to do a B-class race. Uh, so let's let's go and run. Let's go and run a B-class race. Just a straightforward, sensible, no-nonsense B-class race. 
hopefully people will have. I mean, if the worst comes to worst, you can just go drive an Amira. If you do not have any particular car. I know I have... Oh. Uh, I know I have my Monaro, and I do have my Chiron. If I'm, I'm going to try and say, let's not use any of the PI... Let's not use the broken engine swap cheaty turbo remove nonsense. While it is funny, uh, they... I'm sure there are some that are very bright. I mean, the, Ch the Chiron rival, like a leaderboard car, the Chiron can be very fast at the right track. Uh, but here it's less good. In a racing situation, it's less good, this thing. For those of you that haven't seen it, um, that may not, that may not have seen it, this is a Bugatti Chiron that has 345 horsepower. Due to a little glitch with the game, you can essentially remove the turbos from the W16, and that gives it this much power, which drops it down to B. It's very, very wacky. Very silly. Um, but it just means they have a stupidly low PI Chiron. Um, I'm going to say let's not use cars like that. You can do it to a lot of cars. Uh, I have a Lamborghini. I've got my Cyan. It's now A-Class, but you can do it with those. You can do it with a whole bunch of things. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're going to go... We're going to say let's not have those vehicles in this race. Uh, the Atom is not treated like that. Uh, <laughs> the the Atom is that's, that's not a glitch drop. That is a restrictor and ballast, I think, uh, on it to, to get it to do that. It's very quick in the corners and awful down the straights. I think it's slower than the Bugatti down the straight. So, yeah. My Monaro is just a solid B-class car. It's just a good... Um, just a good a good B class car. The NSX is always strong. Uh, don't know that. I presume that's a ballasted and potentially restricted car. Um, it, it, there's still a lot of Nissans. Uh, uh, sorry, a lot of Amiras as people are, are swapping their cars out. Oh, Longbow's got the bloody radic. I said none of these. <laughs> we can have a go with them at some point, but let's let's try and avoid. Let's try and avoid the engine swapped. Um, dropped vehicles uh, for for this one because yeah it just it oh no oh, well you and actually no so Ewan's I remember you and what you so Ewan's Porsche is not it's not a ballast it's, it's got the engine from a 718 Cayman so that is again a legit thing you can do I don't dislike that as a thing actually I, while the whole it's a glitchy way you get like the Chirons PI drops. I don't mind things like this Porsche, for example, having a lower power engine from a different car being an engine swap. That's fun. Uh, it's un unexpected, but it is a fun thing to to have to be. Um, uh, <laughs> Longbow has a hundred. You have a hundred and thirty-three horsepower in the Radical. Dear God, Longbow, are you going to need to break at any point around this track? I don't think you are. <laughs> you are going to be full throttle the entire way. It's going to be very quick in a couple of places and very slow in a, in a few others. That's awful. That, I mean, it's impressive, but it is going. Yeah, I don't think Maple Valley is really the circuit for those super grip cars. A couple of places like Turn One, it will be will be very very fast, but you're going to lose a lot down the straights. Um, Right, is it? we almost got everyone ready. If everyone could, could ready up, if you are not yet, uh, that would be good. Yeah, if, if you don't have a B-class car, uh, I say to get the Amira. It's it's a solid option, uh, <laughs> really. Uh, the the hill is needed. The the hill is needed for the <laughs> the radical is not going to move up the hill. Uh, <laughs> the, the the radical is going to get to. The, he's going to need a push or a toe to get all the way up the hill and this uh, is a steep hill these cars go to uh, in comparison my Monaro is on slicks actually I should change my compound of tyres thinking about it don't want mediums do we now god dear you've got to get the car on the old uh, soft compound tyres right if we could get the last couple of people readied up so that we can that no, everyone is everyone is ready fantastic let's go see what happens Monaro has done me well in the past uh, this track's probably quite a good one actually for it it's decent enough it's decent enough sort of mid corner speed decent top end 
beautiful spot on the grid. Oh, the Radical is here. <laughs> this is good. I mean, we're going to see an interesting... That is 133 horsepower of Radical versus 450 horsepower of Monaro. I think... So the Radical is now likely to go into turn one and then be flat out the whole way through it. But... Uh, oh, Monaro. Please settle. Please settle. There we go. However, yeah, that's going to be incredibly slow down the straights. Uh, now, this, this Monaro on cold tyres is really not very good. But once they warm up... I mean, it's, it's not the best handling vehicle I've ever built. When the tyres warm up, it should be all right. Here come... Uh, the, uh, so Liam with a stock Amira is actually faster than my Monaro in a straight line. That's... I mean, I have, got, I have got Forza Aero on the car, so we have got quite a lot of drag. I'm guessing that's where the difference might come in. Uh, it shows you how quick that Amira is in all of this, that it can be matching... I say modified car. By no means, this is by no means the best B-Class car ever made. Monaro is just a solid B-Class car. And will we have... Hoping we'll have the power up the hill here. Uh, oh. I think Liam has had some sort of glitch. Well, that certainly threw me out of position. I was ready lining up for a way to fight past Liam. And we didn't need to. As Liam has just gone straight on. That's... Uh, don't know what's happened. Look like it's a controller malfunction of some sort. Uh, through the battle, oh, maybe it uh, might have just been a plain old disconnect for Liam. Uh, we are no way. I'm sorry, I've got a lot of understeer. I cannot carry that much speed through there. Unfortunately, we've found another uh, Lotus to harass us here. Uh, we are a little bit faster than it down towards the first corner. Uh, a little bit of lag going on, a little bit, of jit there's a little bit of just general jitteriness. That is not YouTube, that is on the game uh, at the moment. Don't quite know what the jitteriness is for, but yeah, it's definitely a little bit unhappy. Which is making it a little bit weird to drive. What is going on? I haven't really experienced this jitteriness before. It's... I mean, Steve has got a little bit of laggy jitters. It's not that that's... Uh, going on. I don't, know whether, I don't know whether the stream is really seeing it the same way that uh, I am seeing it. Making, a bit, making my eyes go a bit funny trying to drive it. Oh, I don't know whether I made contact with Steve or not there. They kind of dove out of the way as if I did. Maybe it's the surprise of a Monaro suddenly being there. Yeah, don't, don't know whether it's coming through on the stream particularly, but it's a little bit, little bit funky going on. We're going to be defending from a Lotus, I think, for the rest of this race. The Supra's not bad in third. Uh, <laughs> Very weird echo goes on through that bridge. Uh, Longbow is probably having a frustrating race in that Radical, because it'll be so fast that some parts and then get overtaken by everything and then get stuck in traffic, and we are all out of shape through here. Uh, now, through the back chicane we go. I mean, <laughs> you almost straight line it, essentially, uh, with this car, and with both cars, probably. Um... Okay, so there, there is definitely some some of the jitters occurring. It's not just me losing my mind. Uh, we are around the final corner. We held off the Amira for the moment. Yeah, I have got a break earlier, I think, than that Lotus. Again, not absolutely not trying to brake check. I'm braking where I think I need to brake with this car. I may be slightly wrong. I, I may be I may be inadvertently braking a bit earlier. Well, it may just be some lag because it's all gone really <laughs> uh, it's all really difficult to tell at the moment it's very difficult to judge uh, you know the vehicle you're racing is, is jittering forward and then jittering backwards difficult to tell where you need to brake how you need to brake to not run into them uh, oh the lo I mean the Lotus can try around the outside I don't think it's quite going to make that one it's not quite got the grip so it has got decent braking performance. I think part of it is I'm not doing very well under brakes. I'm not really judging it well enough. But yeah, so the, the Lotus has got you know, great speed, but it just lacks that little bit of grip at a critical moment where the slick tyres on the Monaro can come in very, very handy. It's just We're just able to hold it off in a couple of critical corners, even if 
I am having actually, some issues with the game currently. Uh, be as aggressive as you dare through that chicane. Sierra is up into third place. Hey, that's a fast corner. Right, is the Amira going to be close enough to have a dive into turn one? That is the real question. It may well just go around the outside. We are having a big, say a big dive under braking. It was kind of a necessary, yes, this mid-corner grip if we don't lose the back end too much. Oh, no, like that. Oh, I'm sorry, Steve. Uh, yeah, so that, that is the issue. We chase the car across the circuit because the back end wants to let go. And as we do that, it just steps out of line. So this, the way this car drives, it does have this ever so slight tendency for the back end to let go. I, the way I had to tune it, I had to really tune it to try and get some turn in on the front. And the upshot of that is the back end can be a bit snappy loose at times, as demonstrated there. Now we're three wide to the bottom of the course. The Sierra's throwing it up the inside. Sierra's got good grip. I think the issue the Sierra's got is straight line speed. We'll duck underneath everybody, get hopefully a better, more sort of straight exit up the hill. Well, where is the Sierra going? I don't think it knew we were on the outside. We have given that one to uh, to a Steve there. <laughs> I mean, admittedly, it was always a little bit ambitious trying to go to that outside. Uh, it was sort of the only place I could, with the momentum I had, it was the only place I could go. And uh, yeah. That's, that's sort of that. Oh, frame rate, please, just sort yourself out. I've driven Maple Valley before in this game. I don't know why it's got all horrible this time. But there we go, we've got another, another Lotus, I think, coming to join. Potentially, I am way wide, way too wide. Well, it was... Uh, I say it wasn't really worth a go. Oh, Blakey's hit it as well. Uh yeah, too, too much bravery. Knew my car was decent mid-corner, but that was just asking too much. One, the problem with that corner is once you know you've done it wrong, there's no saving it. You can't pull the car back in. You can't really, you know, do it. Oh, Steve's... I don't know whether taking assistance to get out there, I would imagine quite possibly. Uh, that is unfortunate to have... Uh, to have ended the race out in the sand trap there. It's an easy sand trap to end up in, I'm going to guess. May have may have got a nudge uh, from another vehicle. Oh, it's not parked on the inside down there. Ah, we are going to be a little bit out of range to try anything to get onto the podium. I think the Rusky's Supra certainly not too shabby around here. I mean, if we have anybody else going on an adventure up this part of the hill, that would help me out immensely. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. It is a strange old thing. <laughs> Say it's a strange old thing. I don't know what happened to to Liam. I think it's just disconnected. It's just, yeah. But it, it, it had it twice with cars going a little bit lost going up there. Rusky's fallen to third. And Meyer is going to get second. Is it not quite the one that we were expecting? to end up getting second, but it was an Amira. It is an Amira that is going to get second. It shows how fast those cars are for a vehicle that starts stock B-Class. Uh, top of B-Class, basically no upgrades. A doable, a very, very small amount of doable. Unless you ballast it, I guess. But, uh, ah, it's four. Should have been better. Should have been better. Um, although, to be fair, S Steve was a lot worse worse off than me. <laughs> Steve very quick with that car. The uh, the Atom of Nine Tails was fast, but I think stuck in traffic. And where did the Radical end up? Uh, end up a sixth. Didn't quite have the pace there. I imagine unbelievably fast in the corners, but very slow down those straights. Uh, Faye Cinderhart, thank you very much indeed for an incredibly, incredibly generous super chat. It is... Uh, greatly appreciated indeed saying hi Alex uh, really appreciate your content over the years I've been watching a new video upload always seems to cheer me up and uh, keep me going oh well thank you very much I'm always always glad to, to hear that one hope you and the Ferrari's crew are doing well thank you again <laughs> God bless I think we are we are all doing 
relatively well. We have had mixed fortunes uh, this evening. I think everyone's been having dead frame rates in this one as well, which has not helped. Don't know what's going on. Um, but uh, yeah, always, I say always, always grateful to hear. I mean, I know, <laughs> I know certainly um, I have have turned to watching you know i say watching youtubers and, and, and youtube videos and when times haven't been great and it's always nice to know that uh, i can kind of do that for for others and, and all of that so uh yeah it's um, great to hear uh, hopefully you'll be watching for, for many years to come and many more dumb ideas we have planned many more dumb things have been filmed as well <laughs> uh, to, coming up over the next few weeks and whatnot uh rail face thank you very much for the nation as well so on this rail face rail face stream we play forza but the big question is will it will it wheels uh <laughs> i'm guessing you're trying to be the opposite of the will it roll um but uh yeah oh did wait hold on did steve get hit by gliska could i not see gliska i might not have been able to see gliska that race i don't know I didn't think Gliska was in that front group. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, the game's dying a little bit. game's had a little bit of a panic, I think, is going to be the best way to sum it up here. Um, I'm gonna, we're going to reload. We're going to load a different track. Uh, ooh. Shall we? I know where we can go. <laughs> I know where we can go. I mean, this is largely because a bunch of us have taken to testing our cars around here for the Versa community this week. Let's run it and give it a test. I actually haven't decided what I'm going to race. Um, I mean, I'm going to test my golf. My golf's not really. So, for the upcoming Versus community session, we are racing C-Class front-wheel drive cars. Um, I've built a few to pick from. I have an FTO, I have a DS3, and I have a Volkswagen, I have a Mark III Golf. And the Mark III Golf is, I think, the fastest of them. None of them are on race tyres. I tried building them on race tyres, but they actually felt better on sports. Uh, they, they, I, I didn't really like the way they drove. So, yeah, that's the FTO. It's 250 horsepower, 2,500 pounds. That's 214, but it's a bit lighter, 2,300 and my DR, my DS3 is reset to stock. Oh no, there's my DS3. I did the glitch to take the turbo off it uh, to see if I could, how low I could get it. And yeah, <laughs> DS3's not even got the upgrades on it anymore. <laughs> DS3 has been engine cheated, and now it's not a DS3 racing. Now it's just like a 1.6 DS3, just a normal one. Um, so yeah, uh, no, I can't really test that. So it's between the FTO. Uh, I mean, so the FTO's a bit more of a, say, a bit more of a straight line speedy car. Ignore, like, these stats aren't great. They, they don't really show the full story in particular. I do have a Gibble Cup. That was just for a single-player career mode thing. It's not very well built. But the Gibble is here, which makes me happy. I know it's not pronounced like that, but I will forever call it the Gibble, all right? It will be called the Gibble forever. Uh, <laughs> I digress. Let's get my golf out. Let's see. Um, let's see if the golf will work. So it's just a general C-Class one. Uh, run what you like. Maybe... Let's avoid longbow. Longbow. You're radical. No. <laughs> uh, I, don't think, I don't think longbow's going to listen to me. Uh, or longbow made. Uh, no, I, I, think, I think most of those of us that are going to be running in the sort of verse community will probably want to test their cars out. Um, you know, a good a good way to, to practice, essentially. Um uh, uh, Justin asking, have I completed the career mode? I absolutely have. I completed it in two days. It's a very short career. It's it's incredibly short career mode. Um, I mean, Gran Turismo 7s wasn't great, and this is a quarter of, of, of that. Well, what Gran Turismo was at launch. It's this tiny career mode. I know it's going to be added to as it goes on, and that's fine and everything, but uh, yeah, it's a really short career mode. <laughs> A really short career mode in which you can't use many of your vehicles. It, it feels like it's half done. Um, it, like as, as far as career modes go, it really does feel like it's it's barely the like the basics of a career mode at that point. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's weird. It's weird what they decided to do with this one. I don't know if 
Uh, there are any stock C-Class cards? If you don't have anything upgraded, I don't know if there are any good stock C-Class cards. Um, uh, the Evos... Uh, oh, someone has gone for the Camaro. Gib Gob has gone for that that Camaro. That's not bad. It's not great handling. Probably not going to go around this circuit. It's not a bad C-Class car, though, all things considered. Uh, so if, you, if you're stuck for them, and the Evos, like the Evo 6, the Evo... T uh, I think the Evo 10 is C-Class? The Evo 9, yeah. Those are also, you know, sensible enough options. Those of us who actually got some some modded cars in here are going to be on slick tyres, I would expect. Um, FTO, yeah, that'll probably be slick. CRX maybe slick. As well, I mean, I'm not quite on slicks. We're on on the sport tyres. Uh, we will kind of see. We will kind of see how it how it pans out. If people could uh, get in a vehicle and get ready up, so we can go racing. Uh, with these, get some. Hopefully, get some. Get some, some good. I say some good racing around Lima. It's a great fun circuit. Um, the, the car. I love the Carlton. I love the Carlton dearly. It's a wonderful car. Uh, <laughs> probably not the car for Lime Rock, If I'm being honest, it's not really a Lime Rock car. Is that is the Carlton? As, as much as it is one of my favourite cars, one of my dream cars. Not sure I could recommend it for, for, for a Lime Rock session. <laughs> it's, it's a bit big and a bit boaty and all of those things for uh, for for Lime Rock, really. Uh, but to be fair though, you could say you could say similar things about the Camaro or the C thirty two AMG. So <laughs> Right, if I don't know if we're for Lombo. Uh, yeah, we're waiting for Lombo, Liam, and... Uh, not Lombo, Liam and Rusky. If you could... I'm going to guess Rusky has got a Supra to a high level, and it's about the only car they can <laughs> uh, modify. And that's also not a Supra picture. That's a BRZ. Uh, <laughs> sometimes the pictures just show up as the wrong cars, which is always funny when it looks like someone's trying to sneak in a vehicle that they shouldn't have. Uh, Nine Tails is... Braving a mid PI Clio. Um, how long the race takes to start entirely depends on how long it takes Liam and Rusky to ready up. <laughs> uh, it, it very much depends on how long it takes for people to ready up. And see, this, this is one of the, say, the big issue with this, say, one of the many big issues, but you know, the issue with the upgrade system is. Uh, what would normally be a straightforward let's go do a C-Class race is really wacky and complicated to actually completely like just trying to do a C-Class race is really awkward um, because a lot of people don't have uh, Liam was modifying the car of course just people might not have the right vehicles in the right places despite the fact that you can have tens of millions of credits <laughs> As I said, I could buy all the Formula 1 cars in the game, yet trying to build a C-Class front-wheel drive hatchback takes many hours. It's, it's really, really silly. Um, but there we go. Uh, let's go and see how we may fare. I mean, we've got a, we've got, we've got a max PI C-Class car. We're probably going to be quite good. I'm not. I'm not. Oh, we, we have been. We have been gifted some wonderful, wonderful grid spots. Yeah, we'll see how we go against the, li the likes of Aaron's FTO. See, my hope with my car. I am aware we are not going to be the grippiest. My my main hope with it is a bit like what I did with the Monaro. Have enough grip and be decent straight line speed. The Mark III Golf in Forza games has traditionally been pretty damn good. I've had fast ones on Horizon. I'm hoping we can have a fast one on Motorsport. I think part of the reason it is quick, it gets the centrifugal supercharger that is generally very kind to PI. So you can get a good chunk of power in a vehicle with that supercharger without eating up all the PI. I think that's what the VR6 engine does quite well. And it's quite light. We're 2,300 pounds. The FTO will be lighter. But yeah, we are quite light. Uh, which is good. Final corner is not flat. But 
Uh, oh, the FTO is quick. Yeah, that thing's quick. We're going to have to defend from Aaron as we head down towards turn one. Okay, so the FTO has got straight line speed on us. I'm going to guess Aaron's is built differently to mine and to some I've seen. Uh, although, to mine was 200. But mine was more power than my Golf as well. Uh, I, think, oh, I think my FTO was on No, no, my FTO wasn't on slicks. I tried it on slicks and I didn't like it. Uh, so I'm going to guess that's another sport tyre machine back there. It's definitely got more pace than I do. Christ. Uh, it was wide at turn one and it's already behind us. The main hope for me is going to be defend. Defend like crazy. Maybe we're going to be slightly, by the looks of it, we're better in the corners. So we're going to have to try and pull enough time through these turns to be out of range by turn one. And outside of turn one, it's very difficult to pass at Lime Rock. It is one of the more difficult um, circuits to do an overtake on. So if we don't make any mistakes, we could make a very wide gulf. I was a bit early on the brakes to turn one. Rather be a bit early on the brakes than late. However, it's just allowed Liam to catch up. Uh, it was, so that has allowed Liam to catch up. Allowed Aaron and Liam to catch up. Now, Liam's in a BRZ, so we almost don't count it. <laughs> Those things are... I think Liam's in a BRZ. Those things are stupendously quick. In, they were in Horizon. They have been in previous forces. And they are again. They are just very, very quick cars. We will run up the hill. If the FTO can hold it behind, that would help me out. Uh, it's fine. Don't run too wide through there, though. We're 100% going to have to be defending at turn one. We'll get away with that. Only just, but we will. <laughs> Any wider, and I'm going to start getting into trouble there. We will okay, just park it in the middle of the road. Do not leave that inside open, because Aaron will want to exploit the first side of a gap. The FTO is going to look for a way past. I mean, the BRZ is going to as well. I can't defend from everything necessarily, but ooh, don't get up on the curb because it just wants to fire us and understeer us wide. I don't think you're going to be able to have enough momentum down here to pass. You can overtake into this corner, but you've got to have serious like car advantage to be able to do that, serious pace advantage to make that pass stick. I think we've got more grip than the, than the chasing cars, so it's unlikely they're going to be able to send it there. The real danger part is turn one. That's as much speed as I dare take through the final corner. We're a little wide on the uh, way in. Once again, we'll chase the FTO across the circuit. Oh, I brake's two. Oh, no, no, no. I've recovered it. I mean, we squeezed Aaron as much as possible. And the thing Aaron's got to be careful of is going that narrow, you potentially open the door to a Liam. The BRZ is waiting and ready. The first sign of a slip-up between me and that <laughs> and that that FDO, uh, the BRZ will absolutely pounce. It does not need a second invitation. It will find a way to clear that. We've got quite well up the hill. BRZ's on the outside. These are not the corners you want to be stuck on the outside necessarily. Uh, we get some understeer through there a little bit more than we would like. Looks like Liano, oh they're still side by side back there. That's great news for me. I'd rather Aaron come out on top with that one, if I'm honest. Might well do. Oh no, Aaron's slow out of the final corner, so never mind. Uh, that will. I say it gives us the lead with a little bit of a margin. We don't have to defend for a lap, but I suspect the BRZ will catch us anyway. Uh, <laughs> We will do what we can. Yeah, the golf has been very wide around here, helped by a nice spot on the grid and a decent start. However, we are clearly not the fastest car here. We will come under threat. Oh, Longbow's got through everything, uh, so I don't know what happened at turn one. The Velosta has made its way through the pack. Oh, I had a rear wheel on the grass at the point of turning there. That's scary. Don't do that. No. <laughs> That is really not what you want to do. That will ruin your day. I mean, it's better to do it in a front-wheel drive car than a rear-wheel drive car. That is true. However, it's best to not do it at all. Come on. 
Come on, Volkswagen. We are under threat now from a Veloster. If I could actually stop driving like a moron. That was too early on the brakes. What am I doing? Uh, not driving very well. Longbow is going to send that to the inside, but it's going to be... It's going to be the wrong side through here, which I think we're going to be able to just fend off. <laughs> Oh, I don't know at what point the microphone died during that race, but uh, <laughs> oh, there we go. The world's widest Volkswagen was raced. It was by definitely not the fastest there, but it was difficult, as it was difficult to overtake. Um, Lime Rock is tough to pass, and yeah, it, <laughs> it turned out Volkswagen uh, just they could not quite find a way past it. Because, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's Lime Rock. Longbow tried everything. Aaron tried everything. There's probably not the track. It's probably not the uh, the track for for the Gulf. I may have to try. I may have to try and rebuild it. We will have to wait. And I say we will have to see. Um, yeah. It was, it was a good race. I, I have a feeling there's going to be some... <laughs> I say frustrating. There are going to be some cars that would look staring at the back of of that Golf for a long time and just not quite able to find a way past. But uh, I mean, that's motorsport. That is motorsport for you sometimes. The couple of little errors we made were thankfully not enough to be capitalised on. Um, uh, Hannah Song, I think. I think. Thank you very much for the uh, for another generous donation. It is much appreciated. Uh, so I don't want to repeat myself, but uh, you really do deserve the appreciation. Hopes th hope this helps. All right, it does indeed. Thank you very much. Um, I said I'm always, always, always grateful to hear folks enjoying the content, enjoying the videos, enjoying the streams, and and all of that. Uh, Adrian, thank you for the super chat as well, uh, saying it's not much, uh, but you deserve it, Alex. Uh, great content for years and years. Also, your mic is dead. <laughs> I don't know. What, it's the it's. I think like the cable. If I like, nudge the cable ever so slightly, it gets really unhappy. This mic. Um, yeah, it's right. Pain in the ass. But uh, yeah, <laughs> at least we didn't lose too much commentary. Uh, I hope in all of that uh, we have probably got time for one more one more race uh, where shall we go to finish off this session uh, I'm trying to see I'm trying to think what we're we gonna go race um, I'm kind of tempted to go race formula Mazda the one make formula Mazda 
You know what? Formula Mazda 1 maker Kyle Army could be interesting. They're going to be very quick. <laughs> it's just going to be... You're going to be almost flat out everywhere. But it'll be fun. That is the feeling. That... that let's say that, that, that is the... That is the hope. You will probably just get a big slipstream train. Uh, Formula Mazda. There we go. Yeah. This should be... Should be entertaining. Uh, I say slipstream train, actually. I mean, it's... It's a longer circuit, but it's quite a technical longer circuit. A couple of places, absolutely, you're going to want a big... You know, a big toe is going to be helpful. But, uh... It's not quite like... I say some of the other tracks that you'll come across. Um... Yeah, four four masters on a wheel should be good. Should be good, in theory. Uh, I presume I own one. I do own one. I don't know what level it is. I'm just curious. That's six. Okay, we did a couple of races with this last week. It was it was good fun. Uh, I think we've had a few uh, had a few connection issues. Uh, uh, invite person has unfortunately had to go. So <laughs> I don't think we have anyone on uh, invites. Uh, I'll say on invites. Like. For, I say for whatever reason, it, it does the game does crash quite regularly and drop you out of the lobby for no good reason. Uh, you will need a stock Formula Master, by the way. I don't. I mean, I will lock it. I uh, can't really lock it to stock because of the whole car XP. But uh, yeah, get get in a stock Mazda. It's, it's very straightforward. Just to reset it to stock. Uh, I definitely, you know, definitely don't want one of those going around. Be far too quick. Uh, we, have, we have raced these before. The, the hitboxes, their collisions are much better than it was in the previous motorsport game, which is nice. Uh, they, as I said, they're generally pretty good for the whole uh, close, close wheels wheel racing. One thing you've got to look out for: the wheels can get um, uh, a bit interlocked with each other with side by side contact. Yeah, you've got you've got to be a smidge careful with it, but. We should be able to figure it out. <laughs> like it's a big, it's a big should. We should get away with it, all right. What could, what could possibly go wrong with all this? Um, there is a nasty curb that launches cars. I think I've not tried it yet. There will probably be a video at some point, naturally. Um, I actually, uh, with with trying to do a will it roll. And the curb here would definitely be one of the curbs that I would look at trying to um, roll a car on. I, I should actually be able to set. Uh, as Mark has just said, yeah, you, you make a good point. Maximum PI. If I set it to 699, it should make it... Um, God, it's, it's bloody long to get through here. Um, yeah, man. There's no quick way of doing this. No, nope, we've just got to go through. Jeez. <laughs> so bad. Come on. There we go. 699. Will that break it for the rest of us? That is a good question. I mean, it should let us... Yeah, okay, it's letting us already up. It's fine. It's fine. We'll get there. We'll figure it out. Maybe. Possibly. Ah, uh, <laughs> oh, fair's got to go. Thank you very much again for your for your incredibly generous super chat. I hope you have a uh, a good a good sleep. Uh, by by the looks of it, it, it is it is getting late. It is it is indeed um, getting late here. Um, Oh, L plate's not not driven the circuit before. I, I, feel, I feel like Kyle Army's not too bad of a circuit to uh, learn. You, I'm not always the best at learning some of the tracks, so yeah, I figured this one out relatively well. Liam, it's always you. I I think we may have a the, the S class one may be bugged because it's if they've let them ready up, the car should be the right one. I know it's only a couple of the I as well, but I don't know. What uh, uh, Captain Car 
on Holio, thank you very much for the uh, super chat saying sometimes when my phone rings and the ID shows up, uh, shows unknown caller, I will answer and in an excited whisper say it's done, but there's blood everywhere. Send in Gunther and Alice quick, then hang up. <laughs> uh, I quite like that. I quite like that. It's a good way to deal with spam calls. Although you can guarantee the time that you decide to do it, it's a very important phone call from somewhere, like some, some of the stuff, I mean, dealing with like solicitors and estate agents, some of those have come through on unknown numbers, uh, which is really annoying, uh, <laughs> because I've had to answer them. Uh, but yeah, I, I generally, if, if it comes up with an unknown, an unknown caller, I generally don't answer it. Most of the time it's spam. If it's important, they'll leave a message. Um, so <laughs> that's, that's, that's my thinking, but I do, you know, I do like this. Carly is one who likes to do that sort of stuff with the, with the spam callers. Um, oh, I forgot to change my tyres because I was chatting. Um, well, we're in, oh, we're in for a, I say a miserable end. The game really, really needs to default to soft. If it's not going to let me adjust the, like, tyre wear rate. I say, oh, that's not helped. Yeah, I don't know what I said. Why does it default to soft? Like, you know, medium or medium is the is the default one. It would be nice to be able to set it just so when you inevitably forget, because literally every um, every almost every session we've done, we've had at least one race where you forget. And it's especially when you are swapping between cars on slicks and cars not on slicks. That's when you forget. The party will probably remember better than me, because they will remind you, like, one person will remember. Um, and oh, the rest might not, but one person does it, reminds everyone else. But, uh, yeah. I feel like there's a, a, a better way of doing it. I wonder if Liam has got it on the tyres as well. The, like, I mean, the, the fuel is, is the least concern for me. I don't really care. I'm not fast enough to notice the tenth of a second of lap difference between full tank and five laps of fuel. I will notice the difference between medium and, and soft tyres, and if you're doing the tyres, you'll do the other bit. But, uh, yeah. Oh, that was way too brave under brakes. Sorry, Longbow. Didn't actually really affect Longbow all that much, but never mind. Uh, Shadow, you can have a look and not get past. This is the curb that might roll some cars. I mean, it's not quite full on knock hill level of curbing, but it's pretty impressive, nevertheless. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get turned through there without going on the gravel is always helpful. I, mean, I feel like if we had this on the right tyres, it'd be very good fun. I mean, it is still good fun around this track. It's still, you know, got a lot of grit, even on the medium tyres. This thing's still got a lot of grip for an A-Class car. Uh, we will slow you down for turn one. Longbow has made a pass and stick on Aaron as we run up the hill. Can we join in the fight? This corner here is always, well, it's deceptively fast. If you get it right, it's, you carry a lot of speed, but you do not want to put a wheel on the grass on the exit. We've seen a lot of accidents with cars out wide there. Uh, in two this long corner. That's going to be super fast if you are on the softs. Who is that going for a real adventure? We're all going to get stacked up a little bit behind them with that. Liam having a bit of an off? Quite possibly. Shadow is, Shadow is keeping us honest at the moment. Uh, Aaron is on the edge of the grip through there. We've had a great run through this section. Can we get the drag up the hill? Not going to quite do it. Shadow is going to look maybe to the inside. I like the uh, <laughs> I, I like the game bridge livery on Aaron's car. Very indie car. Oh, <laughs> got a little upset on the curb. Just just a little, just enough. It's a bit sideways at everything. Oh, Aaron may have enough grip actually to dive to the inside down here. Uh, I'm going to give plenty of space. In the end, they did not quite put their car there. That works for me. I'll, I'll give the room. I mean, there's no reason to chop them off Whee! at the moment. Last thing I need is further contact and everything with oh, slight wrong compound of tyres. 
Do we reckon there's anyone? Blakey's got to the front of the race. Looks like a good battle. We can kind of see the battle. And when we get around this corner, we see the battle going on for the front. It's two by two up at the front. Aaron and Shadow are closing on me. Are they going to be close enough to dive into turn one? Oh, possibly. Because I got on the throttle a little too soon. I wonder if us three might be the three on the wrong tyres. <laughs> I can't imagine if Shadow was on the right tyres, they would have got stuck behind us. I think they would have been passed. And yeah, I think I think that would have been I think that's likely. Certainly don't seem to have an answer for Longbow. Oh, although it would help if I knew this track better with this type of car. Eee, that's some that's some adventuring. At least my adventuring didn't end up on the grass, that's the bit that matters. Oh, I missed it, I missed it, I missed it. It's been a really bad lap so far. Shadow is past Aaron, although while I have been slow coming up to this corner, the one saving grace is that that's a horrible corner to overtake him to. You can do it, but you need a hell of a lot more overspeed than Shadow had on us. Not going to be close enough, I don't think, down here. We don't really have to defend at the moment, which is nice. We'll just take a normal line. Try and get power down on the exit. The lead group has sort of split up a little bit. They're just forming a big long line, which is likely to happen. Uh, Shadow's again got a good run down here. Here's Shadow to the inside. Again, I'm giving space, expecting them to be. The plus point with that wide exit is like that, that really wide line, actually getting a half decent speed on the exit still, which is good enough to fend them off, really attacking that curb. Feels like a bad idea. I feel like there's probably a better way through that corner. Shadow's going to look underneath. But once more, cannot get the power down. <laughs> Shadow has literally just followed us this entire race. Uh, now may get a look at getting past. We will chase them across the circuit as much as possible. But they are to the inside. My hope is they're about to go and overshoot the braking zone through here, which they do. Oh, we couldn't quite make that one stick. Worth a try, but uh, yeah, did not quite work. Maybe should have gone down to second. Don't matter how fast second goes to. Uh, no. Now we will at least have the slipstream. It should help us if I can figure out how to take this corner properly in these cars, uh, or as quickly as, as quickly as possible. Shadow is out wide. We're out a little wider, and then Aaron is out to even wider than that. Uh, <laughs> you're kind of. We're all essentially following the car ahead and just trying to push it that little bit further, which does sometimes get us into trouble. Oh, Shadow is going to be slow on the exit. This is my favourite place to set up a pass at Kyle Army, is get the good run up the hill. I think Shadow is aware of this. Oh, we are going to squeeze the car past, absolutely park it on the apex. That I will take. A, a nice, clean, almost textbook pass. Only issue is, we're about to get repassed on the run down the hill here. Shadow has got that manoeuvre completed. Do we... We're not going to send it to the inside here. Shadow is going to dive way too deep under brakes. Yeah, I was never looking to go for a big dive to the inside there. I mean, I was planning to go for get a good run on the exit and pass. I wasn't... wasn't planning on Shadow missing the brakes by so far that I could essentially just drive a normal line through that one so it works nicely. That being said the pink car is immediately back on the <laughs> back on the tail as we head towards the first corner. Huge fight over the third spot on the podium. Up ahead looks fun. Wish I had the tyres to be a part of it but there we go uh, through the first corner we head Aaron's caught back up a little exchange uh, slowed each other down a smidge. Uh, this corner said deceptively fast. Just don't put a wheel on the grass. Uh, we are clear still. Not gonna, not gonna have any threats through our next corner. Just keep the momentum up. Oh, no, nah, not quite got the grip to do that one at that sort of speed. But we did explore the track limits got away with it. We might not get away with this. <laughs> we do because no one wants to pass on the way into this section uh, and I'm normally quite good at getting the exit up the hill. 
Shadow is <laughs> wants to try a similar maneuver to what I did. I'm going to cover the inside a lot heavier than, than Shadow did. The issue with this is... Oh, we actually sat the car up on the curb there. Not good for getting an exit. I mean, it works. We kind of blocked the run. There's no good way to defend down here, though. You go to the inside to defend this bit. You're on the wrong side for the next corner. Uh, oh. oh, no. I don't think Shadow was going to expect us. So, so we were bouncing on the grass and I was trying to pull the car across. I'm surprised Shadow was so far on the inside of the circuit on that one to end up hitting us. I thought they were going for the uh, much wider line through there. Um, yeah, I th think may possibly have lost track of where each other were on that one. I was really not expecting Shadow's car to be on that part of the circuit. Um, that's, it's a shame it ended in such a way as it was a very, very close race. Yeah, wrong tyres. Kind of screwed us in that one in terms of a, in terms of a close race. Nine Tails and Blakey would get first and second. They were a fair way out in front. Liam in third. Uh, there was a big fight over that uh, that third place, though. I would love to be a part of it, but alas, I was. I did what I could with the tyres. I think me, Aaron, and Shadow may well have been on the wrong tyres for that one well there we go it was great fun <laughs> even on the wrong tires it has been a highly entertaining entertaining stream it has been a good race with uh, all sorts of vehicles around here um i hope you have all enjoyed we got a couple of victories we got a couple of victories in this which is good uh one was just a defend like crazy with a Volkswagen. Veloster 1, I had decent pace around. We've been we've been quick in, in some races. We've been less quick in others. Um, overall, though, yeah, as, as terribly broken and useless as the upgrade system is in this game, when you're doing one-make races, when you've got comparable cars, the actual physical racing um, is very, very good fun. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it is very much a game of two halves, this one. Uh, but yeah, I hope, you've I hope you've enjoyed this this stream. As I said, we've certainly had uh, plenty of fun. I will be back with the next stream on Sunday, hopefully. I don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing on that one, but uh, I hope you'll be able to join again for that, whether it be Forza, whether it be something else. don't know yet, um, but there will be... Uh, hopefully another stream on Sunday for you to, to watch and keep you all entertained. Hopefully have a good time and all that. That, though, is going to be it from me for this evening. A very big thank you to uh, everybody who has who has donated. I think I've read everything out. I apologise if I missed any uh, along the way, but it is uh, always greatly, greatly appreciated. I'm just trying to check to see if I have. I don't think so. I think I've got all the Super Chats. Thankfully, YouTube has changed, has, has adjusted the way their thing works, so I can now actually see the Super Chats much easier, which is very nice. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, of course, also, thank you all for, for watching, for spending your, your Friday evening here with us uh, on Forza. That, though, shall be it from me. Until next time, a uh, goodbye.